Hello, Nija. Capra. Astatin. Hello, happy Sunday. How are you, Gee? And over in the Twitch chat, we have Rusty Jones, Dark Ness, and Fina. We're stopping in, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and waste no time. Today is part 15. And also the final session for my honor mode run. Either I TPK and we have to start over and I'm not doing another run. I mean, in the future I would, but I'm not doing one right away. Or I beat the game today, so. I'm pretty excited. There's uh, two fights that I know that I have to do. I don't have to do one of them, but we obviously have to do the Orin fight. And since I'm playing as the Dark Urge, I believe it's an Orin duel. Which makes me very nervous because I'm playing as a bard. A lore bard as opposed to like, you know, bringing Lazel in there or something like that. And I could wreck her in one turn. And I think I'm also going to do the Mystic fight. Because some of you guys were saying that the Mystic has some legendary actions. And then I think I've done every single fight. All of the important fights in Act 3. With the exception of Raphael. Because we want to keep Raphael alive on this playthrough. To the tavern. Meredy, hello. Corey. Penny. Damashi. Skull. Appreciate the thumbs up on the stream, folks. Waste no more time and jump right into it. We beat the game is the answer. True. Hello, rolling meeple. All right, let me just set up my chat so I can see them. And let's begin. Last session, we ended with killing Gortash, which didn't turn out to be too bad. Uh, the session before that was Answer. That was almost a TPK, and everything before that wasn't too bad except for the Grim fight. But I have a feeling today might be rough. I don't know. <laughs> I like to prepare for the worst. Somehow, in my head, I have to mathematically... <laughs> Figure out how the hell I'm going to beat Orin in a duel as a lore bard. How does that work? We might be buying some scrolls and things of that nature after I clean up the uh, the loot up here on top of Worm's Rock. Time to press ahead. Hey, Leda. Holman. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Karsten. Appreciate you guys having faith in me. It would be a bummer to TPK on the final session, wouldn't it? But if it happens, it is what it is. It's just a video game, right? I mean, I could have easily gone through this and skipped all of those fights and just grabbed my golden dice and then peaced out, but... We've been doing uh, quite a lot of optional fights. So even if I TPK, I'm still proud of myself. All right, um, I don't even really care about loot that much, to be honest with you. Let's go to the lower city central wall. I think I'm going to do that mystic fight for you guys. I've only done it... Actually, I've never done this fight, because on my tactician run, I made friends with the mystic. So I have no idea what to expect. Subs, I feel. Was literally about to play BG3, but now you're live. Had to be here for this experience. Thanks, man. Hello, Thalen. Happy Sunday. I noticed the loading screens got much longer after the hotfix. At least yesterday when I was recording some video footage, it was taking forever. Hello, Savas. Look at my bard's hat. Help you. Reciprocation. Watchers ignore you. Found. It almost looks like it's plastic. It looks cheap. Eliminated. You walk free. You won. 
Shut up, brain. It looks like a cheap party hat with plastic gems on it. Later, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I appreciate that. I hope I get the golden die too, but if we don't, it's okay. Something caught your eye then? Careful. I'm going to check a few shops here because I want to make sure that I have everything that I can possibly have. Okay, there's nothing I need from this guy. Let's go ahead and let me check my scrolls. I have Globes of Invulnerability. I'm sure that would help in the Orin fight. I don't want to start off with that strategy, though, even though I maybe I should, because it's the duel. Let me see what type of offensive spells I have. Flesh to Stone. Maybe I need a couple Disintegrates or something like that. Hold Monster. See, the problem with Hold Monster is I'm almost certain that Orin will have that Legendary Resistance Incapacitation. I think you have to burn that like two, three, or four times before you're actually able to have a spell land. I don't know if Hold Monster is going to work. Let's see. Banishment. Don't. No, no, no need to do that, right? Um, not really seeing any. I doubt Blight would be a good spell. I really don't have that many scrolls that are offensive in nature. So let's go ahead and take a quick stop at Sorceress Sundry. How much gold do I have? Not much, because I spent all my gold rebuying Globe of Invulnerability scrolls and haste potions. Welcome back. Enjoy Thanks, Leda. Nice, I feel nice. Uh, chain Lightning. I wonder if I should wet Orin. Throw some water on her. Might not be a bad idea if I have like a haste potion or something like that. All right, disintegrate. We're going to pick up one of those bad boys. How much does that cost? Oh, God. Shit's not cheap, man. It's not cheap. Don't need fireball scroll. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, at the end of your turn, you roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. That actually might be a decent strategy for the Orin fight when I'm playing a less offensive character like my bard. Um, do we have any? Ooh, summons might actually be a pretty damn good idea too. So let me. I think I can only have one out at a time. Or can you? I've never tried that before. Let me sell a few things. Interesting. So the shield of the undevout. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist your spells or actions that inflict fear. I wonder if I should use that and then try to inflict fear on Orin. Nah, I'll take the plus one to armor class. Stick with that. Ooh, a dagger plus two? That's pretty sweet. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We can probably start selling some of these scrolls too that I don't need. Got to get some money here. <laughs> Should I sell my underwear? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Let's recheck my inventory. Let me go kill the mystic real fast. I'm gonna kill the mystic real fast. 
and then we'll start worrying about Orin. Wonder if I need to take a rest before the Mystic fight. I don't have any high level spell slots right now. On my wizard or my cleric. Take a quick long rest. Why risk it, you know? What's up, Lefty? Going through some BG3 burnout. You're only 50 hours in. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Swift as my feet can carry me. I think that happens to probably, I would say, more players than not. For most video games, because most players don't finish video games. All right, let me go to the dumb waiter real fast. Let's buy a camp supply pack. Back again. Thrill me with your delightful midnight order. Enjoy. 64 gold for 40 camp supplies. Not too shabby. A letter from Orin. What does she want? Click the Thunder Wave option for Orin only for the achievement. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock her like off the ledge or anything like that, especially when it's a duel. I haven't even considered that. Do I know the kind of build that I'm going to go for in my next playthrough? I mean, not really, but I've been meaning to play the monk class for quite a while now, so. Possibly an open hand monk or a shadow monk. I think open hand monk can be really powerful. Seeing a lot of people playing it and a lot of people talk really good about it. Even though the shadow monk probably interests me a bit more. But I'll probably be testing out both of those. But honestly, after I finish my honor mode run, like, I... I don't feel like I need to do any more full playthroughs in the immediate near future. Uh, I feel a little burnt out myself. I think we might try some weird mods or some funny challenges or something like that, but I'm not going to go right back into another playthrough. I've done a good playthrough, an evil playthrough, and now Dark Urge. Yeah, there's nothing... I don't think I could go through the entire game again and actually enjoy it at this time. I need a little bit of a break. Or we got to do something silly or something. Oh wait, where is this guy? I think I went past him. I think it's over here, actually. Yeah, this is the redemption path. Alright, um... Oh shit, I forgot. But it's of a rancid, impure form. Nothing like the true weave at all. I think this is the mystic that you guys were talking about. I know you can get in through this little hole down here if you're small enough. I wonder if there's a way through on the roof. Can't. The weave is constant, but it's users... Lock picking a stone wall. Classic. Evil playthrough is very underwhelming. Here's the thing. The evil playthrough can be underwhelming if you've already done a good playthrough. That's my take on that. There's a lot less content for sure. But on your first run for this game, if your first run is the evil playthrough, you wouldn't know any better. You wouldn't know the content that you're missing, etc. It's still a game that's, you know, leagues above so many other RPGs. <laughs> But yeah, I wish Larian spent a little more time on that. Oh my god, is this going to be the type of night that we're going to have? Sorry, I would have picked that first try. True. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Trying to get this damn... There we go. I can't wait for the epilogue, the pyro. 
If you complete the quest at the Elf Song, you can rent the top floor. My man, we just came from the Elf Song. Or maybe you're responding to somebody else in the chat. All right, um, let's go ahead and do some buffing. I have no idea what to expect here. I wouldn't think that this fight would be too crazy hard, but I don't know because I've never fought this guy before. So, Which way to the nearest let's go ahead and do our summons. I already have my Raven out. Call Scratch. I think I'm just going to attack this guy like right away. I've got a long road ahead. Looking ahead. Uh oh. Can't give up now. Game's bugging out. On my mind. There we go. And well, Come on. What's next, I wonder? Let's get on with it. Okay, a couple more spells. Go with. I'm so curious what happens if I lose the Orin duel. Is it TPK? Like, technically, my party's not in that fight. We're gonna find out, right? All right, that should be good enough. I'm probably missing some buff that I usually cast, but it is what it is. This guy's a cool character. I didn't meet him until my tactician run. I completely missed this house. Oh man, he does have a legendary action. Torrential Undeath. Once per turn, Mystic Carrion can use his legendary action to release Torrential Undeath at his foes when an allied undead is slain. This grants undead guardian wraiths while haunting other creatures with wrathful spirits. Unleash a barrage of spiritual energy granting undead guardian wraiths while haunting other creatures. Guardian Wraiths. Spiritual energy has healed this undead 6 to 48 hit points and is making it immune to all damage. Spiritual energy has frightened this creature and is making it vulnerable to all damage. Shit. Actually sounds pretty deadly. Good thing is I have... <sighs> Do I have any frightened immunity gear I'm trying to think of right now? I say we just go into this. I think I'm gonna be okay. According to that legendary action, I probably don't want to kill any undead. I thought I'd be able to sneak up behind him. I guess we're not doing that. You do not have an appointment. Yet you seek an audience with Mr. Carrion. Ah, yes. You were drawn to me. A wanderer bearing the scent of death. You are familiar with the necromancy of Fae. That's the book that we got from Act I One in the Blighted heard Village. Spirits whisper its name. Few books have the power to send a shiver through the living and the dead. Tell me, what did you make of its contents? You're familiar with the subject matter? Such a book is for those who make only the shallowest ripples in death dark pools. I inhabit the depths. Action from good and evil. Clearly these are not waters you know how to swim in. I would hate to be the one who helps you drown. Perhaps one day the book will reveal its secrets to you. Until Brother, then, I'm miles ahead of you. Between its covers. You Unless stupid you zombie. Have any other business with me, I suggest you return to the domain of the living. I um, always have yeah, I'd like to trade with you. And that might kick your ass. Disposition. How about that, buddy? Your gear sucks. Ooh, 
You gain a plus two bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Shit, I actually might buy that. Is that blood? No, never mind. I'd be giving up a plus one to charisma for a plus two to my spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Plus one to charisma, which helps my spell save DC. The reason why I say plus one to charisma is because it only ups it by one modifier, even though it says plus two. While this hat gives me a plus two, a solid plus two. All right, let me speak with this guy with my bard. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Adventure a waste. Up, Mike. Still breathing, despite everything. Again, you. My client list is full. Naturally. I'm gonna pick that up, and I'll think about it later. For those seeking contact, 716. Damn, inflation in Baldur's Gate is just getting ridiculous, folks. It's getting ridiculous. Oh damn, that was more expensive than I thought. Didn't look that through. Oh well. Free to return. Let's go ahead and put that on. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I like that look a lot more than the bard hat. Have need of you. Simple, efficient, and badass. Alright, Mr. Mystic Carry On. If you don't mind, I'm going to take a chunk out of your back, sir. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. All right, so when allied undead is slain, so I'm just not gonna kill any allied undead. It's that simple. I'm gonna kill you, brother. Actually, I might kill him in one turn to be quite honest with you. 95% chance, let's go ahead and disarm him. You bastard. Ugly bastard. I didn't need precision attack. Weapon drop, but he didn't drop it. You cheating bastard. Oh, damn, I didn't have great... <laughs> I didn't have great weapon master on. He would have been dead two hits ago, if I remembered that. Oh, great. Now I'm probably going to TPK. All right, let's do this. So this dude still has... Nope, so legendary resistance is gone. That's nice. That's pretty cool. Man, you know what I could do for the Orin duel? I could respect my bard into a battle master fighter. That wouldn't be very honorable, though. That doesn't make sense RP-wise. Immersion-wise, it doesn't make sense, so I'm not going to do it. But I could. Got to remember to cast certain buffs on my character before we go and do that fight. All right, so let's do a very powerful spell. Um... Guy's got 48 HP. Can't hold person, can't hold monster because he's undead. Could turn undead while I'm down here. Oh, I got this guy, I think, in one turn, because Gal is right there, too, so... i fly right over here and fight this guy with my beak. Yeah. Victory awaits. Need to stay focused. Yeah, I don't think this fight's gonna be hard at all. See ya. Okay, now we can just kill all the undead. Oh, I turned my... <laughs> I didn't even notice that. When you use turn undead, it turns your friendlies, too. 
Isn't it better on Gal? The reason why I'm not putting it on Gal right now is because I have to do the Orin duel. My bard is going to be the one that's dueling Orin, not Gal. So yeah, maybe I would leave it on Gal, but for that fight, I'm trying to buff up my bard as much as possible. All right, let's just go balls to the walls now. You know what I'm saying? don't really have like a ton of offensive spells with my bard that's what really ner like makes me nervous like i have fireball but that's not good against bosses usually because they resist it Paul lightning probably that could actually be my best bet if i can get rid of orin's legendary resistance other than that i don't have anything else <laughs> to fight orin <laughs> but i respect i respect the orin duel so the orin duel we shall do up Alan that bard hat is fabulous dueling Orin with a lore bard was a pita six fighter devotion paladin war cleric what's the point in dueling Orin well honestly I think it's part of the dark urge storyline and I'm playing a dark urge character I haven't done it before the only reason why I know is because I've seen people talking about it I don't have to duel Orin. I can, I'm assuming that I can probably go in there and just attack her, but I'm going to give you guys some entertainment today, okay? If I just go in and attack out of nowhere and use curriculum of strategy, I think even on honor mode, I'll have her down pretty fast. So the Orin duel is going to make it a lot of fun. I don't know. Maybe her, maybe her honor mode actions, her legendary actions are crazy. Maybe I wouldn't put her down quick, even outside of a duel. I just never had a problem with the Orin fight on Balanced or Tactician with the way that my party was set up, so... I think it will be fun having to try to duel her and think of something different. How's that not hitting that guy? That's bullshit. Let's try to disintegrate just because it's fun. Watch this. You guys ready for this? Oh my god. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't disintegrate. Close though. It still worked. It was a ton of damage, but I love the disintegration particle effects. The duel is fitting for the story. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can see why.
three left. And then we're gonna head for the Temple of Baal. Oh, I thought it said 140 damage. I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I got a little choke point set up here with the undead versus the undead. Is there any other fights that you guys want me to do? I don't think there's anything else that I missed. Like any crazy honor mode fights. You know what? Let's just electrocute everybody here. Nah, I won't do that. I will electrocute Lazel though. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I electrocute my own team, but then I also use projected ward and indomitable, so Lazel took no damage. I like it. Come on, game. Give me Lazel's turn. Let's get this over with. This fight is no longer fun. Critical missed with 95%. I turned off Great Weapon Master for that very purpose, just to get... Oh, actually, I don't know if it even increased the chance to hit. That's still funny, though. I just have a natural, like, habit of when I only need a little bit of damage, I just turn off Great Weapon Master. It's a good habit to be in, even if it doesn't... Even if there's a situation where it doesn't seem to increase my chance to hit, like I think right now. There's no point in doing it, but I just have the habit of doing that. Okay, let's head to Orin. Should be a fun one. Up, Squig. Still needs to destroy the Horcruxes. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. I just just kill Mystic Carry on and we're gonna move on. Don't really need the story content on this run. What's up, Kobe? I am level 12. Yes. Been 12, I think, for a couple sessions now. Don't even need to search his house either. Anything of use? I don't think there's anything in this house that can offer value for this final session. Maybe there's a actually maybe there's like a potion of speed in here or something. How many of those do I have? I have three potions of speed. All right, we'll go upstairs real fast. I think there's undead up here, though. I don't know if I feel like fighting them. Assume nothing. One true way. Shit.
I used action surge just to dash. <laughs> Don't do that. I wanted to block off this doorway though. We're just gonna wreck them all with Lazo super quick. Come on. Got a bit of a problem here in the stairwell. <laughs> oh, come on. Let Gal up here. You guys aren't very nice to my wizard. Answer was a tough fight, Biz. At least for me, it was. I also kind of didn't really remember the mechanics that much from when I fought him on Balanced on my first run, which was like four months ago, and that certainly made it more difficult. I have to keep going. little bit of traffic congestion in this estate in the Philgrave mansion Thanks for the 690 donation. Doing a run with a hand crossbow build? Nice. That's awesome. I miss that build so much. Are you uh, are you making the build on your own? Or are you following uh, the one that I did on the channel? Just note, Kobe, that um, the two-weapon fighting style is actually useful for the hand crossbow build now. At the time that I made that build, um, the game was a little bit different. Larian updated it to where you need that fighting style in order to get um, damage with your with your offhand attack or something along those lines. Just, just make sure to get that fighting style. That's the only difference that I would suggest. All right. Um, where the hell is this zombie? Oh, he's down. Oh, no, he's up top. Because okay. in the video, I suggest that you don't need it. Uh, but Larian did update it to where you can make good use out of that. That's pretty much it. Everything else is fine. Got to move. Where do I go from here? God, man, the ghouls are so annoying. Why do I have to end their turn? They go on their own. Eager for battle. Proceeding. Probably just a dead cat. Oh my god, see it's a good thing that I searched up here. That's like actually what I needed. That's awesome. If there was one scroll that I would have hoped would be in this house, it would have been a scroll of disintegrate.
We don't even care about any of that actually, so there's no point in even opening that up. Eager for battle. So what exactly? Go and head to the undercity. Oh my god. One corpse is a trophy. This this is madness. This is Sparta. This is madness. This is blasphemy. This is I haven't watched 300 in like 10 years. I gotta go back and watch that movie sometime. I remember when 300, you guys remember when 300 came out in theaters? Like how groundbreakingly amazing it was <laughs> for the time that it came out. I think I went to it like four times in theaters. Still alive. So that's now you have best. like some shows that overuse the slow motion to the point of where it's not even fun watching. All right, I'm looking for some good stuff, my friend, and you don't seem to have any of that. And I am pretty much out of gold now. Damn. Wow, I'm a poor boy. Holy crap. Now buying that, buying this really screwed me over right there, didn't it? When I could, see, the thing is, when you kill an enemy, it's not always guaranteed to have all the loot on them. So maybe it is a good thing that I bought it. I don't know, whatever. Oh no. Panic mode. It was hype. Yeah, it does seem like there is a scarcity of cloaks in this game. I agree. And cloaks tend to be players' favorite piece of gear in video games. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of choices. I should speak up. This place is real shabby. But at least folk don't look at you funny in here. I have plenty of supreme healing potions. I need two more hyena ears. I think I finished my first run with like one or two characters that didn't even have a cloak equipped. Hey Morgana, what's up? Oh yeah, that trader is actually pretty nice because she sells potions of speed on some days and also hyena ears on other days. So it can actually be quite nice. Hello again, sir. I've just gotten unlucky with the RNG for her. For Inventory these past the couple times. Cost everything and there we go. Portions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Should I sell us? I think I'm gonna sell that shield. That's gonna give me some nice money. And then do we have a hyena ear here too? This guy also sells hyena ears. There we go. See, now I only need one more hyena ear. So after I take my long rest, we could check back at the shop and also that other lady. And then maybe I have enough to, to make ashes of hyena ear, which leads to potions of speed. All right. Shit, I haven't even been to, like, the sewers, really, that much on this run. Let me go there before I take a long rest. Let me think, what's the quickest way to the Undercity? We can go through the guild's hideout. Oh god, I don't want to fight that dude with all the... 
All the jellies. Not because I'm scared, just because that fight just takes forever. It reminds me of DOS 2. It reminds me of the fight in... I think that... You guys know what fight I'm talking about in the sewers? Hey, Carol. I almost guarantee that that fight is supposed to be like somewhat of an Easter egg to the DOS 2 fight. To the famous DOS 2 burning fight. Up, Sesame. Judge, hello. Maniac. No, I didn't kill Raphael. Because I want him alive. Because we're going to see what he does in the epilogue of the game. Um... Shit, man. All right, let's go to the Basilisk Gate. Honestly, don't know the quickest way to the Undercity. Yeah, I'd like to give him the crown because I've never done that before. I was told that you get a pretty cool, um, pretty cool epilogue with Withers at the end. Hey, Judge. You as well. She also sells potions of Cloud Giant Strength. You know, maybe I should pick... Hmm. Maybe I should pick up some potions of Cloud Giant. I'm starting to think maybe I should give my Bard a higher strength so I can swing with my weapon. Dream in red. Oh god, my right foot is asleep right now. I am lost. Where is that? Deepside Barracks? Oh, this is the... Is this the guild right here? It is the guild. if the guild guy sells any potions. Oh god. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, so this is, what's this little guy doing? Little cutie pie? Used to have a couple pet rats when I was a kid. Joshua Henry Hudson? And Cynthia. Loved them so much. They're great pets. Smart animals. Alright, so I want to do this without fighting the dude in the middle here. I do know one way to go about that. Let's do... Ah, oh, shit, I got all my summons, though. I wish there was, like, a button that would, like, cause everybody to... This would be a nice quality of life improvement. A button that would cause everybody in your party to actually group up in, like, a tight circle. That would be huge. Like, this is a pain in the ass trying to do a spell, a higher level spell, so I can cast it on everybody at the same time. Is 
I think invisibility level four. One, two, three. Oh shit, okay. And then. Okay. Now it's, oh wait, oh shit, really, okay. You know, I've never really used the invisibility spell. I always use potions. Okay, so it's concentration, so I can't cat. Okay, okay, so in that case, let's go ahead and try that again. Let's go like this, I've got a better idea. Wonder if three lets me do it on two. So let's go one, two, three. And then we're gonna go into my bard. We're gonna take an invisibility potion, or I could cast the spell actually with my bard too. I didn't think about that. And we're gonna group everybody together. And then we're gonna sprint through this middle part. We have one minute to get through it. See if I can do it. You might actually be able to skip it though. I didn't, I don't know, whatever, let's go. Come on, guys, don't slip on there. Don't slip on there. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. This is gonna. This is not gonna go as planned. Okay, come this way. Come this way. Oh, I think you can actually get around this. Oh, my God. This is a disaster. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Your God took her mind, cultist. So Bereki took her head. And I burned. That's classic DD right there. And now hey Harry, what's up? You come to interrupt the funeral rites. I Yeah, I'm gonna try not to fight him just for the sake of uh says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. I haven't the slightest idea who or what you're talking about. Actually no. Wait, no need for violence. Just tell me what happened to your friend. I took my friend's life. But only after your god took her soul. Sarin Bereki and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone straight. Well, cutie pie. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he is that the mouth was right gone there? too. I think it is. Leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites, and my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> I'm not a cultist, and I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. I don't know if I've ever tried persuading this guy before. But let's see what happens. If it turns into combat, it turns into combat. She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Pass that. Okay. All right, let's try to get through this. I think we just go this way. An efficient path. You gather your party before venturing forth. Dude, the freaking grease is ridiculous. Okay, I think we're getting there now. This looks familiar. Here we go. And we got the waypoint too. Perfect. So I can go back and look for some potions of speed and things of that nature. At least things have stayed interesting. Seems simple enough. Rush Blood. Of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. 
A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door. To baptize his dais most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? I have an amulet of Baal. Let me pass, door. You hold proof of faith, but to hold and deserve are different. How have you proven yourself in the Dreadlord's eyes? Probably going to get some unique um, Dark Urge dialogue here coming. I slaughtered the murder tribunal. Unorthodox. But a show of faith nonetheless. Walk in blood. How much farther can I go? Seems like a good moment to talk. The penitent looks at you silently. There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his No eyes. hyena ears? This is bullshit, man. I actually do need these. I should just kill this guy. Or I should pickpocket him. Penitent. Can't give up now. Don't want to draw any attention. Stop that. Now. From your pocket Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We have a barbarian helm and then I think a druid. A moon druid. Light armor piece here, which is fine because you spend most of your time in moon druid form. I want to do a moon druid build at some. Uh oh. Really? Really, buddy? No time to waste. Bit of caution never hurt. On my way. Guess we got to do it again. And it looks like there's less. I think I'll take his. Oh shit! Wow, that's tough. Using a five finger discount. Yeah, might as well keep going. <laughs> shit. Didn't have been standing there. I gave him a chance. Thank you, thank you. I gave him a chance to let me peacefully pickpocket him. And he chose violence. Can't slow down. Oh, this is that little side quest. Back with the uh, the dude that we just deceived. Alright, let's send these two to Lazel. And we are about to begin the Orin fight here really soon. Something's happening. Let me take a long rest. Just in case we get into a fight with these assassins. Although I think I might try to in cloak myself in invisibility going through this next part. So we don't have to deal with that. Welcome me pouch. You don't kill Saravak, you get Dark Urge line at the door. It's pretty cool. I'll have to look up that scene on YouTube. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. That's an interesting way of rationalizing theft and murder. Will, shut the hell up, dude. Nobody cares. Probably gonna cry about his dad again, and I'm getting kind of sick of these sob stories from the companions. Toughen up, folks. We've all got it hard out here in the streets of Baldur's Gate. Well, that's stupid. I wonder where it goes when it disappears like that. That scares me a little bit. Definitely a bug. All right, um, before, before we start that, let me... Probably going to sell a few of these things. Let's quickly stop back in the city. Do 
you guys like larian's update now we have like categories here to make it a little bit easier i think it's nice it was pretty confusing before even for myself and i know most of these waypoints fairly well nice that they divide it into sections Quickly, then. i just need one hyena ear then i can make another potion of speed when the dark urge steals from you you just let it go what's up blackbeard DG the loser, hello. You never got this campsite? Yeah, you just gotta go to the Elf Song Tavern and talk to the barkeep. You can have it. For a moment. What's up for discussion? How may I be of further assistance? Hey, look at that. See? Hyena ear. Perfect. Potions of speed too? Nope. No 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 potion of speed. Okay. We have some sorcery gloves though. All right, um, there's no sense in like organizing my inventory that well because I'm going to be beating the game today, so I forgot that I picked up that too. I could put that on Lazelle. Or if my bard can use it. Actually, my bard can use it. Down comes the claw. Did I do the Jahira and Mint Scuff? Uh, Jahira was one shot by Ketherick. I actually didn't want her to die, but she did, so. And Minsk is currently in his little hideout. Not too worried about doing that, uh. Although maybe there's like some Dark Urge content that goes along with that, I'm not sure. But uh, we're going to Orin, I've already committed to it. This place is real shabby. Dude, I've been getting really unlucky. I'm telling you guys, she she has hyena ears and potions of speed like 60% of the time that you come to her. She's just trolling me right now. She knows I'm streaming. Making me look bad in front of you guys. I would never lie to you guys, you know that? Only when I take a sponsorship. <laughs> I only lie for money. Is that fair? To hear is that you can't recruit Minsk. I think a couple other people said that as well. Yeah, I think there should still be a way to do it, but maybe if you killed Jahira, or if you're on the evil side, it would make sense that it would lock you out of Minsk. But if Jahira just died. I don't know because I haven't tried that before, but it would be nice to have a conversation with Minsk about what happened to Jahira, and then maybe he wants to join us because Jahira was helping us out. Hello again, sir. Everything alchemical. Hello again, sir. Brother, just do make sure maybe Larian's hotfix just like totally got rid of like the potions of speed that these vendors sell. Not even a hyena ear in here. You bastard. I will come back and I will fireball your shop, sir. After I take care of Orin. I promise you, brother. You will be living in the flames of Avernus. Wait, is there a hyena in here? I have really bad... Sometimes I'm bad at finding things. I don't see a hyena here. I don't see a potion of speed either. Alright. Fair enough. You want to play that game? Enjoy your last day of having your shop open on Worms Crossing. Hold on, one more stop, one more stop. You guys gotta forgive me, I'm a little bit nervous. That's the true Dark Urge. Oh, this guy is on, is on the bridge, Worms Crossing. One of the shops on the end, on the left side... 
on the third floor of the building or second floor of the third floor of the building. Yeah, there's no shapeshifters in the basement, though, if you don't do certain content with Jahira. So those guys aren't down there right now. The Bone Cloak Apothecary? Yeah, that's not even open in my run. It's so cool how, like, all of your actions and the earlier acts can really change how the city plays out. But that dwarf isn't around, so the Bone Cloak Apothecary isn't open. He's not there. 800 hours and I never saw him? That's amazing. Yeah, see the shot. Oh, wait. No, because I broke into here, but she's not here. Can't remember what I did with her. Alright. Just looking for a scroll of disintegrate, good sir. Three of them can't hurt, right? And that I do not see. Huh, okay. Well. Looks like we're forced to go about it the hard way with only two disintegrate scrolls. All right, let's not think about it too much. Let's just do it. I'm better at just doing it and not thinking too much. I work better under pressure versus preparation. Oh shit, you guys having a bad day? And I'm gonna tell you guys again, like I've told you on all of my runs, this right here might be one of my favorite areas. Environmentally speaking, any RPG in ever, any RPG in existence. In the history of RPGs, this is one of my favorite spots ever. I think it's so cool. And it's so much fun coming down here on your first time too, might I add. Because you don't know the mechanics of the fight and everything. Such a well done area. It really sets the mood, the atmosphere for where you're headed. Enough waiting. I crave blood. One true way. Alright, so there's really no point in doing this fight, because it's gonna be no different than it is on Tactician. So let's try to get through it with some invisibility potions. If that's even possible, I don't know. These guys might be able to sense you. And the question is, can I get down there in one minute? Can I get down there in one minute? We should probably do some buffs. I'm gonna hold off on the summons. And I could just do the fight and get it over with. Knowing, knowing the way it's gonna play out for me, I'll do this, I'll try to like, get through this and then at the end it'll end up being a fight and it'll take longer than if I just did it in the first place oh I know what I can do I got a great idea watch this we're just gonna send one down we're just gonna send one down come on let's go let's go come on come on come on top sightseeing bard There was two disintegrates? Did I really not see that? Are you trolling me? The Lord of Murder shall perish. This is so badass, man. I really liked this dissension down to the temple. Especially as somebody who played the original Baldur's Gate games. These lines are from BG1. But what I didn't like is there's really no content in this area. I think it was designed that way, but I think there should have been like, I don't know, like an NPC hidden in one of these homes right here, like cowering in fear or something like that. Somebody to talk to or something to do, but there's nothing here at all. Chaos will be sown from their passage. I think on my first run, I was like stealthing through this entire area, just thinking that a gigantic fight was gonna take place on this bridge. Yeah, those lines talk about Alondo, a prophet of the past. The wise Alondo, who foretold the Ballspawn saga, is your BG1 character and BG2 character. I just wanted to unlock this.
Yeah, it's all part of the fun, John, you know? Good times. Uh, what happened to my character? Oh, here she comes. Now we can take everybody else. How many hours do I have on the game? Well, this is only my third playthrough since the game only. My third playthrough since the game came out. So I don't know how many hours I have with version 1.0. I had over a thousand in early access, but a lot of that was also AFK and also just testing things for videos that I was making throughout early access. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, let's go ahead and let's think this through because it's time. It's time for the Orin duel. It's not over. I want my bard to have everything at her disposal. Everything. Let me see if I have any... We only get one elixir. I wonder what type of damage Orin deals. Man, I wish I'm like so tempted to get myself like a I'm so tempted to push my strength to 21 and switch Lily to a melee weapon and then I can actually deal some physical damage to Orin. I don't know how good spells are going to work to be quite honest with you. But I could put I could put a nice solid one-handed we could use Nairulna. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I think I probably want to keep my shield out for my AC. I could put Nairula on, take a hill giant strength potion, and then I'd be able to deal okay damage, although I won't have extra attack, which is really not good. Oh, man. This could be it, folks. This might be the last session. Well, it is going to be the last session. Whether I TPK or I beat the game, it is what it is. We drink one of these bad boys right now. Alright, so now I can use one-handed weapon with decent damage. I can also throw it, too. I don't think I have any other better elixirs, to be honest with you. I don't know if she does psychic damage. I don't think she does. All my other elixirs are kind of weak. Maybe an initiative order? I don't know. Ooh, we could do dark vision. And then drop like a scroll. Ooh, hold on. I didn't think this through. Do I have any darkness scrolls? I have arrows of darkness. Maybe I should just cast darkness over the battlefield and just stay within it. No one stopped me yet. She's probably going to be resistant to fire. organize these a little bit. I actually might use Blink. Oh, I should probably animate dead, too. I don't have a body, though. What's up, Godzilla?
I wonder if she's gonna have the unstoppable condition. If she does, I'm screwed. I'm de I definitely lost if she does. I don't think there's any way that I could take that down. There's no way she has the unstoppable condition. There's no way, because if you played a class that's not offensive in nature, like my lore bard, like it would be impossible to defeat her if she had unstoppable, unless you had like a bunch of, unless you had one scroll of curriculum of strategy and there's only one in the game, or you have like a ton of magic missile spells. All right. All right. What now? Let's go ahead and do some buffs now. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. We're gonna do. We gon' do... Aid. We gon' do Hero's Feast. We gon' do Long Strider. Might as well give it to everybody. I guess this is it. This is how I'm gonna do it. This is my party right here. Let's see if there's any gear that I can switch over. Take two less piercing damage. Let's see. What is Shadow Heart currently using? All incoming damage reduced by one. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for two turns. One AC less than what I currently have. Alright, so we sentient amulet i don't think we need that let's go ahead and put on let's see i think i'm gonna put on paralyzing critical or spell slot restoration does anybody know i'm gonna let you guys answer this question for me does anybody know if i can have two summons two conjure elementals does anybody know for sure if you're like 70 percent sure don't answer if you're 100% sure, if you tried having two Conjure Elementals, let me know in the chat. You can't? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Such a badass bow. Now, just in case, doesn't let me, you know, swap my inventory around. Let me just grab a couple of these and put them on my character here. Can't be too safe, right? Can't be too sure. All right, let's go for it. Screw it. Let's do it. I prepared long enough. It's time for the duel to begin. Ah, oh, God. Assume nothing. Is that blood? No, never mind. Thanks, Bells. What's up, Duskwing? In my duel, my summon was left outside the duel zone? Oh my god. Seriously?
Master, master, master! You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> but why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Odin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. I went through the whole tribunal when you could have opened the door. Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. You've seen Orin? We are unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return. Up to thrice, some days. Being killed by you is... So much more pleasurable, master. You sick bastard. And what were you doing this whole time? Ah, the temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. This is so cool how different it is when you're playing as the Dark Urge. Open it. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. Mistress home on Elysium. Her ribbed vaults and buttresses have created a magic entirely of their own. Not to mention her pleasure domes. I'm gonna try to cast a few spells on my bard before I go down. I'm kind of setting up here um, just in case I, I don't know what happens if I'm about to die in the duel but if I can interfere with my companions then I probably will so I'm trying to set these guys up to where I have good access to I don't want to set off the cutscene you guys stay right there I'm going to take Gal and I'm going to put him over here and then we'll take Lazel and we'll put her he can also come. He could stay right here, actually. Uh, and then we'll take Shadow Heart. You can stay right here too, probably. Okay. So let's see. Um, I want to start off. Salutations.
I'm gonna cast haste. This probably won't even work. BG the Loser, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Bribed to deal the finishing blow with vicious mockery and insult Orin to death. That'd be pretty epic, wouldn't it? No idea if this is going to last, but I'm going to give it a try. All right, so haste when cast as a spell. It's on a 10 minute turn, so let's put Gale back over here. Um, Haste, and then let's do, what else can I do here? It all might be for nothing, but that's okay, because I'm going to do it either way, even if you guys are telling me not to. I can't risk that it actually does work. I could have done that with a hireling, but I'm not going to. I decided that that was too uh, too cheesy for me. All right, let's also do. We're gonna do death ward. I have warding bonds, death ward, and hastened all active on my character. I think that's gonna have to be it. I'm gonna head down here, but I do have to run to the bathroom, and I'd rather do it now than in the middle of the fight. So you guys just take a look at the Temple of Ball, and I shall return in T minus 45 seconds. Drink some of that Mike's magic juice from Space Jam and let's get this show on the road. Y'all ready for this? Mm, yeah, wash my hands. You think I'm thinking about washing my hands right now? I'm about to fight Orin. Well I'm not worried about sani what sanitation right now, have? brother. All right, let's go. <sighs> what am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> Me? Well, I'm not Helson's savior. See how it crawls. Give a shit about us. that wood elf. Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Happy birthday, Carrying Elliot. Carrying the tyrant's rock. <sighs> but Sarabok's crimson was not yours to spill. Pumped up right now. It's mine. No right to take him! Did it think it could protect? Did and? it think it could save? 
Only the blades can offer salvation. You guys think I should try saving Elson? You make a meaningless offer. It is my blood you must spill. You do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. Nobody kills Helson but me. You still don't remember, do you, Bloodkin? <laughs> How you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. Whoa. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. A straggling memory rises. Day your tyranny should have engulfed this world. It was you who were the first to be enslaved. Horan's smile was the last thing you saw. Her bright blade glinting as she chiseled into your skull. Her reckless digging left your mind shattered. She <laughs> robbed you of your bloody birthright. Reduced you to nothing. Nothing but pure hate. And now it burns. Yearning for vengeance. Husk. Maggot. A ball swan slips sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the murder lord's blessing. And you do. My grandfather ruled this city. A slaughterhouse ripened for my blades. And you stole it! Enough! 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 The runt must be caught. Don't turn into the slayer. Come close, my death's heads. But keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a Jew. Let's go. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining. Dying. Drip. 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 Thanks, Jaffo. You should have trained harder, Master. The piss did you just say to me? Oh no. Oh no. The whole run comes to this moment. Don't turn into the Slayer. Oh, shite. The hell is that thing in between its legs? Okay, initiative order is not in my favor right now. Oh my god, this is badass. Dude, this is so sick. Isn't it so cool that Larian has this like completely different for players that choose one specific choice in character creation, the Dark Urge? There's not many companies that go above and beyond for choices like that. Most companies just cater to what players are mostly going to choose, which is of course custom characters, and they would never go all out for other paths in video games. Think about like the Gith Yankee race too. Nobody chooses Gith Yankee yet. Larian has a bunch of unique dialogue for that. God, this is so badass. Slayer, an avatar of Baal. Legendary resistance and capacitation. Okay, so I want to burn that three times if possible. Slayer form, in fact, Nenji has embraced its savage compulsions. Darkers are compelled to fight Orin alone. The duelist cannot be fully forcefully moved and any interference from other parties will be punished. Okay, doesn't say you can't interfere. Sanguine Lash. Orin can use Sanguine Lash after being attacked. If Orin does not use her legendary action in a round, Ball's Edict is placed on a creature. Sweep a warped appendage in front of you to bleed targets and knock them back 20 feet. 
Okay. That's almost like a... That, well, that sucks. It's kind of like a reaction. Just swing and then I get hit by that. If you don't kill another creature before the end of your next turn, you will die instantly. Huh? That can't be a mechanic for this fight. What? what kind of bullshit is that? There's no other creatures for me to kill. <laughs> Try casting friends. <laughs> I don't understand this. If you don't kill another creature before the end of your next turn, should I kill my own summons? That's stupid. All right, here we go. Dude, there's like 17 legendary actions. Oh, God. All right. All right, Scratch, you don't mind, uh... You don't mind going up there for me, do you, buddy? <laughs> Actually, maybe I should have hit Scratch on the side because he might have been able to help pick me up if I get knocked. It looks like Haste is still active. I like it. Okay, all right. Oh, God, please don't. Please don't one-shot me. Sanguine Lash. Damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay. All right. This will be so easy with like Lazel or another build. <laughs> I'm playing as a lore bard. This shit's crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. That's gone for the round. Damn, summons are huge for this fight. He's almost dead though. Nothing will stand in my way. Okay. All right. All right, what to do, what to do, what to do. So we have three saving throw resistances. I could get rid of those maybe in one round right now. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, Yeah, I have an idea, I think. Or we go all out with damage. 64% chance with the plus. Is that including the plus 10% chance? I wonder. Plus 10 bonus to your saving throw against incapacity and condition. I wonder if that's including the plus 10. I think it probably is. I wonder if I should test that out. Hold on, this is a level 5 spell. Because this would be huge if I could get something like this off. I don't see the plus 10.
What did I just... No! Wrong spell! Oh my god! I thought I... I knew it looked different when I clicked on it. Oh my god, I thought that was Disintegrate. I questioned myself, too, when there was no, like... Aimer thingy. All right, but this is still okay. Then not the end of the world. Uh, I'm gonna go invisible again. He does not use your legendary action around. How did I not click on the right spell? 55% chance now. I don't know if I want to risk that. I need a 100% chance to disintegrate. I wonder if I'll get Ball's Edict. You gotta be shitting me. Why does she keep succeeding on that? Okay, there we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Man, hold monsters really, it, it helped me a lot in the beginning, but now it's screwing me over. You know, I've, I've been playing the game of trying to get that 100% disintegrate over, you know, dealing damage to her when she's in hold person. Like, I need to make sure that I use disintegrate after that. They don't really have great damage here, uh, but I think I'm just going to have to go for it now. Here we go. 55% chance. There we go. That wasn't too bad. 
with a little preparation. Hey, Carly, what's up? Master, you are the chosen one. He is near. He comes for you. Well, this should be interesting. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Riz, for the prime. Oh, God. Of his affection for you. Thanks, Carl. Or confirmation that he owns you. Old person OP. Old or old monster is it, it is. It is. For sure. One of the best spells in the game for Act 3. You know, I think the haste spell that I cast on that was huge for that fight. Casting haste with my wizard, so therefore I didn't have to take potions of speed. Which freed up my bonus action. So I could drink invisibility potion. Okay, I do have to ask in chat right now. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Okay. If I refuse this, could is is this does this have potential to be a TPK? Kind of like the Vlakith scene where Vlakith just kills everybody? Does anybody know? No? You wouldn't think so, right? Because it's like the redemption path. But if it if it's going to TPK my party just like that, then it's not worth doing it, of course. No? Okay. All right. All right. Let's ask a couple questions, though. What gift does the Lord of Murder propose? The Slayer form will be yours. Oh, nobody said anything about that. Made crueler, stronger. The prime incarnation of murder. It seems impossible to stand against your father, but you have fought this long against your nature. There might just be a way. What would you have me do with this gift? Domination, slaughter, Ooh. mountains of corpses, you standing atop them. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedient subject to his lash. It's awfully tempting. I find myself reconsidering the path of the Dark Urge Redemption. I know, right, Riles? I feel you on that. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm live on both YouTube and Twitch right now, and welcome to all the new Twitch viewers. I see a lot of new names in here. All right, I'm kind of focusing on the game right now and not looking at chat as much. During boss battles, I, I don't like to read the chat because it just messes up my brain. I've defied you before, Ball. You cannot force me to do this. You refuse me. You are my spawn. Your veins course with my unholy blood. Your life is mine. Accept your inheritance, or I will reclaim it. 
Does that inheritance come with any gold, perchance? I don't need any of this. The only family I know are those who fought by my side. You were made to conquer, to devour. Uh oh, he's just gonna splatter me with. Reject my blood, and so I will reclaim it. Did you guys troll me? Am I about the TPK? I will make another who is worthy. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the My divine boy. cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the fugue plain for eternity. Love the lore. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... You know, I always liked that stupid skeleton, and now I know why. Who are you? A scribe, a seneschal, a keeper of records, and now thine advocate. Both here and Jurgle. in the city of the dead. It's Jurgle, folks. For those of you guys that don't know the lore that well, Jurgle basically held the position that Ball, Bane, and Merkel, he held that position collectively. And he gave it to them years in the past. But he's not happy with their, uh, with the way they've been handling it. Ah. <sighs> I deserve to die for all the evil I have done. The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Jurgoff? Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. Without you, I'd likely be long dead. Count me extremely grateful you're still here. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. Did you know my nature all this time? I know all. But to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. 
I respect it. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary. And so are these times. Today thou art born anew. Congratulations. That was hard fought and well deserved. You're free. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. I have no idea what to do. Thy path is clear. You must save Baldur's Gate. What if I betray Withers? As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. little shout back to the originals that's really cool man the tie into the lore is phenomenal oh yeah oh great helson is helson here where'd helson go our final quest confront the elder brain and honor mode is over and i don't think that's going to be tough Unless the Elder Brain has, like, some crazy legendary action that I don't know about. I think we can sneak our way all the way up to him and just put him down so and move on to the epilogue. I have the final stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. But such potential. You have done very well indeed. The nether stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. And how do we find this morphic pool? If memory serves, there are smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground when we reach the pool. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, finish your business here before you proceed. All right, so we're not going to have that strength elixir active all the time, so I'm actually going to put on... This is pretty cool. I'm going to wield that with my Dark Urge character. And it also fits, too, because my dexterity is much higher. And this is a finesse weapon, which means you can wield it with strength or dexterity, whatever's higher. My strength is going to drop down to, like, 8 after that potion wears off. So this is actually a nice weapon. 10 to 21 damage. This weapon deals an additional 1 to 4 piercing damage against targets with 50% of the hit points or fewer. When you make an attack with advantage, the target takes an additional 7 piercing damage. That's eh, all right, whatever. All right, let's see if we get any more Dark Urge scenes. Oh man, so this is so cool. This was part of one of the recent patches. I think you used to not be able to get her armor. Whoa. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, that's epic. That's so cool. But we don't want it on her, maybe on Gale. Let me give my six... Is that what we're doing? I think I was wearing that. Let's see if we can give that to Gale. <laughs> it's gonna look pretty funny on Gale. Do, 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 do. So Gal currently has... Oh, no, I don't want to put it on Gal because he currently has the armor of Agatha's spell, which is really, really useful for an abjuration wizard. And also, this is you gain plus one to attack and damage rolls while shape-shifting or disguised. Interesting. So it's not even really lit. Pretty particular. You have advantage on deception checks and persuasion checks. Nice, Gal. You're looking lovely, babe. I did bang Gal in this playthrough. I've, I've pretty much banged everybody in my party. I'm not ashamed of it. 
All right, let's put on Armor of Agathus back on. See, I already lost my Armor of Agathus. All right. Time to rest. Very cool. Oh, where did Helsin go? Oh, here he is. Jeez, brother. You get taken by Orin for like a week or two, and you, you, sh you shrink down to a little shrimpy poo. <laughs> I bet you Helsin can't even bench 200. Oh, oh I am alive. Thanks to our skeletal traveling companion, no doubt. I mean, thanks to me, probably, but okay, Every sure. Breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return so to does camp. your breath, too. The air is clean. Smells like there. shite. Elson, for Cripe's sake, brush your teeth and hit the gym for once. Oh, nice. He's heading down and in, further into the Temple of Ball. That makes sense. I might put him down right now. What do you guys think? Should I put him in his place? Bow below. From bones. Free! No more. Slay. Mm hmm. Liberate her. Fool. I think I've had enough of that. All right, we only have one more quest left. It's the end of the game. What's in here? Oh, no magical pockets. What's past this? Needs to be tinted blue for Gal. Well, we could uh, could put some dye on it, right? When I learned the Dark Urge was for returning players, I knew I had to give it a try, even though this is my first Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I think it works for either or. Definitely, if you played the original games, you will have a much closer to connection to it than we didn't, but... I have something to ask. Still offers a pretty unique take on the story. But that'll fill my pack. There's the key. Orin's mother, Helena. No one stopped me yet. Saravok's daughter. Death's head does not speak, only stares. Her eyes are not only filled with. All right, let's get out of here. That was pretty cool. I love the music down here. This is definitely one of the best ambient tracks in the game. On one hand, I want you to finish the run, but on the other, I want you to TPK so you do another run. There's going to be plenty more runs to come in the future. I just might need a little break from this game. I'm going to check out some of the mods. We'll see if there's any really fun mods that might, you know, hype me up again to start playing. I don't know why I even jumped that. Throw the prism, prism off the edge. Oh yeah, I wonder if I should do Speak With Dead. If you guys haven't seen that yet. I wonder if it's any different for the Dark Urge. I'm not the Dark Urge anymore, though. Alright, let's go to the Basilisk Gate. I have one quick quest that I want to do before we head to the Nether Brain in the Morphic Pool. Oh, shit! You gotta deal with all the squiddies. I gotta deal with the squiddies. No time to waste. Taking a long break after honor mode, Carly. Gonna try Pathfinder? Nice! Good luck! What about the Pillars series, Carly? Have you ever considered that? Personally, I like Pillars better than the Pathfinder games. Well, I've only played Wrath of the Righteous, but... I've only played Pillars 2. I like Pillars 2 more than Wrath of the Righteous, though. Well, damn. 
naked squids. Will I read the journal update? Sure. Why not? I escaped. The hold that ball had over me is gone. All the voices in my head and the rushes in my blood. I cured them at last. It's strange to think. I can do whatever I want to. Be whoever I want to. I'm finally me. These thoughts won't talk to me any longer. On the move. Or, I mean, Lazel would have put Orin down in probably on the second round. Maybe the first round, actually. She's got to be able to take that sanguine lash attack that she did. Alright, so I want to do one quick thing for you guys because I think this is a lovely scene. We're going to take Gale. And we're going to send him to the temple here. To the Storm Shore Tabernacle. And we're going to interact with a statue of Mistra. Mistra's likeness. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. And we get a pretty cool cutscene. And we actually get to see a goddess of the Faerunian Pantheon. Just as Elminster promised, Gale stands before no ordinary Thank you, Joseph. idol. Beneath the silent stone surges a relentless current of purest weave. Her summoning channel, the kind commanded by Mistra herself. All he has to do is reach for it. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Sound will come back on in a second. I appreciate that, Joseph. Thank you for the support. Sorry, 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 sorry. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover, my chosen, yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. We have the Carsus weave, the shadow weave, and the regular that would consume weave. all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. Mm -hmm. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to yeah, me. Yeah, about that. Great ask indeed. You've given I'd have me promised that to, to a devil. 
you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Yeah, all the simp. Girl. Rick, how are you, by the way? Nice, Carly, nice. Pretty cool, right? Can't give up now. Maybe it will bring us closer. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Your new lease of life suits you rather well. What do you and your newborn vitality require of me? Shut the hell up. That's Never a start. Easy path. That's step one, gal. Okay, um, I guess we're heading to the nether brain now. We don't care about, uh, we're not gonna do the minsk one, we're not gonna do that one. Should go do the minsk one. Nah, we're gonna, I'm gonna beat this damn game. Get my golden dice and then we can mess around with all the other side quests on my other run. We signed an infernal contract with Raphael, he's given us the Orphic Hammer in exchange, we've agreed to give him the Crown of Karsus. Alright, what All right. Let's go to the Elf Song Tavern. Have enough allies already. Honestly, I don't think I need allies for the final fight. You'll see why here soon. We're going to use something called Potions of Invisibility. <laughs> I'm going to get through the ending probably pretty fast and then on to the epilogue, which I'm really interested in now. Um, how you doing, Mr. Ravenguard? Take a little nappy. What's up, Tuckster? You like Mistra? Me too. There's been several Mistras in the history of the Forgotten Realms. Mistra is the goddess of magic, for those of you guys that are that don't know. She controls the weave of magic. Without the weave, magic ceases to exist. Or a different weave will take over, such as Shar's Shadow Weave. But that would be dark times for the Sword Coast. I think I'm alright, Mike. I think I got plenty. Mr. looks beautiful. True. Very true. No one simply calls Mr. ugly. And Char is Saluna's twin sister. But Char wants the Shadow Weave to take over the regular Weave so she can be the goddess of shadow magic. That's Char's ultimate goal. I thought we were going to see more. I thought we were going to experience more shadow magic. In this game, I thought one of the main plots was actually going to be the Shadow Weave taking over the regular Weave. It didn't really turn out to be that way. No complaints, though, because I like the story in this game. He's going to sacrifice Gale. If I sacrifice Gale, that, I don't know if you get it, if you still get the golden dice if you do that at the end. I'm not going to risk that, though, even if you guys tell me in chat that it doesn't. But then I'll probably miss I'll miss uh, the epilogue if we blow everybody up. I don't want to do that. A 
Your solitary wrath may be trivial, but the swarm is dangerous. I'll take this way. Oh, they're not attacking me. What the hell? Pristine darkness in every direction. Okay, fading. All right, all right. Good to know. Like you could send in Gal alone, blow everything up. Yeah, I'm not sure because I haven't Silent. tried that before. But for the gentle rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. What's up, Jackie? Happy Sunday. Oh, if you have three nether stones, the rats don't attack. I usually fight the, the rats before I have the nether stones, so that makes sense. Congrats. Probably sleeping. There's no free roam after. Yeah, you have to go to a previous load point. That was the new Geralt. <laughs> I don't know if I quite fit that role, but I appreciate that, Jackie. I don't think you do. It's quick biz. Not that early in the game. I'm almost certain that you don't actually. Maybe the heavy armor in this game has little floaties within. Kind of like airbags in a car. Once it hits the water, it is poof, then you can float. Is this a good playthrough? Yeah, I've done a few evil things that I'm not proud of, but overall, yes, it's a good playthrough. Dark Urge Redemption. For the major decisions so far. Still get an epilogue if you use Gale. Okay, all right. Force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. Larian did such a good job on the character design of the elder brain. I'm not sure, Angie. I don't know what the total hours is. Can you smell it? The brine. It's infused with magic. Oh, I can smell something. The brain is here. And it's not the brine, my friend. Gold is meaningless down here. So that's 
progress. <sighs> Have to keep going. Dominated. Controlled. <sighs> My faith will guide me. So if you guys noticed right there, I took the alert feat with Lazel. I didn't have a chance to take it until level 12, unfortunately, with the current way that I have her built. But everybody on my team is surprised, except Lazel. It's a really, really powerful feat. She also gets a plus five to her initiative, so we're first, we're first in the order of turns almost every battle, and we can't be surprised. Such a good feat. I think some people underestimate the power of initiative in this game and getting a battle started off in your favor. Like I took out four of those things on a surprise round, when otherwise you wouldn't be able to do anything. You can sneak this, ses this section. Oops. Why the earth elemental? Because I like it. Big and badass. That's really it. You're fine, Lazel. Stop complaining. Oh, that's pretty cool. In turn-based mode, I avoided that AoE explosion. I never knew if that would actually work. But that was like a real-time dodge in turn-based mode. One of the best feats, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I agree. Torment. Let's finish this. Onward. My god is standing close to the pools. I think I'm worried about that fight. You think I'm worried about that fight? The only fight I'm worried about now is the Elder Brain. We should be able to skip most of the other fights because they're going to be... I doubt that the fights leading up to the Elder Brain are going to be anything special. cool thing about the fighter classes, also the rogue class, you get to choose more feats than other classes. So you have more opportunities to take feats like Alert and Great Weapon Master and still get your main primary ability to 20, which obviously should usually be a primary focus for newer players.
It's a dragonborn. Pretty cool. Not gonna be able to use speak with dead though, because his body is burnt up. Without delay. Let's get going. Breathe deep. Getting first go in the turn is a big deal. It really is. It really is. I am a firm believer that a strong start to your combat encounters in BG3 is one of the strongest strategies that you can have. Almost expending everything you got in round one or two just greatly changes the tide of a battle and 99% of the time in your favor. That's why you guys see me use action surge round one. You see me use my most powerful spells round one. Get things started in your favor and then the rest of the encounter will be a lot easier. Versus, versus being reactionary and waiting for bad things to happen. Deathly silence. Make the bad things happen yourself. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. I'm going to be saving Orpheus. You think you know why you are here? You think you can atone for giving me my power, child? The rains are terrifying. I like how Larian gave Elder Brains like a face in this game. I feel like in the lore, it's usually just a brain. Don't listen to it. Use the stones. Very Cthulhu inspired, yeah, for sure. By eliminating Kethric, Orin, and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Exactly as I intended. You're welcome. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Yes or no for Focus the Elder Brain. Focus on the crown. My rolls are horrible right now. Not that it really matters. You place the crown upon me in the depths of Moonrise Towers. And there I was born. The crown is not my weakness. It is what made me what I am. You brought the crown to me, Val Spawn, thinking the army I amassed with it would become yours. Your plan was devious, your cruelty unparalleled. I would have followed it were your mind not destroyed by your sister. But with you gone, the three pitiful chosen fought like children in your wake. Gave them power to harm one another with, while I crafted my design. I used the Chosen, while they thought they used me. But the orders are now mine to give. I won't allow it. Again! Nothing dominate. happens, Molinar. You don't get to dominate it. So Elder Brains are the ultimate collection of 
illithid brains. So when a mind flayer dies, their brain goes to the elder brain and makes the elder brain more powerful. Elder brains are like the central strong point, tyrannical rulers of most mind flayer societies. And regular mind flayers just lay eggs, which is where tadpoles come from. The elder brain doesn't lay tadpoles. Just regular mind flayers do. They don't have a sex. They just poop them out. This is Forgotten Realms lore, Northern Water. A setting that has been around since the 60s. Created by Ed Greenwood. When the parasite entered your ruined mind, you became informed of my design. <laughs> yes, there are more than one elder brain. There is more than one. Who do you think planted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do? When the Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prism, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? Were you a part of its plan? I only needed one Netherstone loosened from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. This was your role, and it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. We can't afford to let that happen. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure if you guys, if you roll perfectly for these rolls, from my understanding, it doesn't really change anything. You don't get to dominate the brain either way. So is there even a point to the rolls besides first playthrough, anticipation, and intensity? I don't know. Time flares are aliens. Well, yeah. They, for people on the planet of Toril, yes. Even though they do live in the Underdark now on the same planet. But originally, yes, they come from other planes. Way out in space. Oh, rolling a 20 at the 99 lowers the brain's health by 20%. Interesting. So I should have expended all of my inspiration dice right there. Nice, Valhalla. Thanks for letting us know that. This is not over. Yeah, so you might as well expend all of your inspiration when you're at that point to help you out with the final boss. I kind of wish that I did that now. Yeah, so if you see a number higher than what you're able to roll, it just means you have to roll a 20. You have a 5% chance at succeeding. If you roll anything lower than a 20, then you fail the check. Some classes, though, will have enough proficiency bonuses and expertise and things of that nature to where they're able to roll like a 30-something when you add all their bonuses in there. So they might be able to roll like an 18 or a 19 and still get to 30 plus. to the upper city of Baldur's Gate. Ducal Palace.
the area around Baldur's Gate is like a barren wasteland. I hope that Larian's next game livens it up a little bit. Just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain. No longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. Shut up, you squid. I will eat you for dinner. It has become something more. A nether brain. One tentacle at a time while you're still alive. I thought the nether stones are supposed to allow us to dominate the brain. I thought so too. But that was when I believed it was still an elder brain. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see any mind flares in the D&D &D movie, Honor Among Thieves. We can no longer get to the House of Hope. Now we are bound to fill the terms of our deal with Raphael. The Netherbrain held its old kingmaker. It claims to have been crowned by the Chosen of Baal before it broke free. All along it has been filled with admiration. Now it is time to end what was begun. We return to the Astral Plane. Now's our chance to break Orpheus free of his chains with the Orphic Hammer. Damn, I wish I could have a little rest right now. Didn't think about that before going in here. Without delay. I think it's so cool how Larian has has the astral plane in this game. We get to jump around, low gravity. Nemesis, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. This is giving me flashbacks of the monk fight. Luckily, I did pretty good on the monk fight. Where is everybody? Man, I hate how people still get stuck. We have Shadow and my and Lazel down here, so let's take them too. Let me work my magic. I was very worried about the monk fight, which starts at the beginning of Act Three. If you guys know the fight that I'm talking about, wasn't too bad though for me on honor mode. I've had a rough time with that one before in the past. I think there's a fight down here, but I think I'm good to just come up here. I'm gathering some of these brains because I might make some psychic resistance potions for the final boss battle. Um, do I have the Orphic Hammer? Where the hell did that thing go? I haven't seen that in like 30 hours. That's not how you spell Orphic. I do have the Orphic Hammer, so let's put that on Lily. Nice. Slap the squid in the head with it. Give him a little bonk. Polanski, thank you so much for the prank. Appreciate it, Nemesis. Do we even need to talk to the Mind Flayer? Oh, shit, he just... You will live with the consequences of your actions. You're so the sensitive. You have left. You're so pathetic, Emperor. We can free all You're so soft. Now we'll get much in the way of gratitude. All right, guys, this is a very, very important character in Gith Yankee lore in the Forgotten Realms, so pay attention. This is a huge, huge lore drop from Larian Studios. Continuation of Forgotten Realms lore for the future of Forgotten Realms D&D. &D. And he might... As the Githyanki doesn't Prince fight me. takes his blade, a silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You 
reek of illithid. You fornicated with a mind flayer. <laughs> and you slaughtered my honor guard. Fucking great. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. True, I did. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet gifts true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. Fortification's one word for it. I had no choice. Without your powers, I would have died. That is true. And it would have been the honorable outcome for one destined to become Gake. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. They would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. Oh, this guy's starting to piss me off. Let's forget about the past. I was misled. What now? We will destroy the nether brain together and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The nether brain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an elithid to unleash the full potential of the nether stones. There we go. Someone will need to turn into a mind flare. Are you willing to do that, Orpheus? Just as I was free. I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. Dude's been trapped for thousands of years, I think. He finally gets out, and now he's got to become... <laughs> fucking squid, man. <laughs> Keep in mind, in the lore, the Mind Flayers enslaved the Gith race. I say Gith because it includes the Gith Zerai and the Gith Yankee. Or... A very very long time so the gith yankee race is hellbent their, their main mission is to basically kill mind flayers and wipe that wipe their existence out of the forgotten realms completely and now he's about to turn into one so this is actually a pretty big story moment and it makes me respect orpheus quite a lot the nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me my prince no even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartavkim crush. I wonder what's going to be canon, though. Orpheus turning into a mind flayer, or what? hate the emperor <laughs> yeah I became a mind player on my last run I don't feel like doing it again let me finish as the dark urge character that I started the nether brain and finish this once the grand design is ended kill me it is the very least you can do come it's time for us to meet our fates and end this illithid nightmare we have a city to save In 
the red dragons serve the gif yankee that's why they help out young red dragons for a period of time This scene was quite shocking on my first run. When you see the city of Baldur's Gate in such ruin. Quite beautiful though too. Alright, so over here we have... This is the upper city. Where is uh, Ramesses Tower? Oh, there it is right there. So if any of you guys did the Sorceress Sundries portal, it would have brought you into that tower right there with the Roaken on the top floor. You can actually look out over the city. And then we have the wall dividing the upper city from the lower city, and the lower city's down here. We have the Sea Tower of Baldurin. You can't really see too much. Most of the game for us in Act 3 takes place over in this area, and we can't really see too much of that. Like, I can't see Sorceress Sundries. Oh, we can see uh, the Counting House. We can see the this right here is the Bitch Queen's Temple, the Temple of Umberly, where the mermaids are singing. They're not really mermaids, but you guys get what I'm saying. Looking ahead. These boots have seen everything. And now we get to explore the Upper City to a certain extent, a ruined, destroyed Upper City. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Boss, give Kartav Kim crush. What? Stand down. The true heir has spoken. No. It can't be. And yet it is. Orpheus took this form so we could defeat the Netherbrain. Orpheus, my prince. What's become of you? The grand design must be ended. A sacrifice had to be made. The duty fell to me. I am not long for this world, or any other. What of Vlakith? What of our liberty? You underestimate your own people. Their imaginations have kept the name Orpheus hey, Sandy. alive for millennia. Bring them my message. Tell them my fate some will doubt some will mock but some will listen and the spark will be lit yeah it's so cool how Voss is like such an important character like he doesn't have a ton of scenes but he's pretty important and we met him back in early access in act one and most of us just thought of him as a pure enemy I never would have predicted you know like making an alliance with, with Voss, or him helping us, or having Act 3 ending scenes with him in it. We're wasting time. We need to find... We need to face the Netherbrain. This champion holds the key to the Grand Design's end. Answer to her as you would to me. Your Majesty. I have spoken. As you wish. I stand at the ready. Your friendship, your constancy. When I fell to despair, they elated me. Thank you, my friend. Shavazai. Shavazai. Now, to the Netherbrain. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies. It's really cool. I've never had Lazel at the end of this game. Before, I've never had Helsin either. Health is still alive. Because on my first run, Orin killed Lazel. I wasn't able to save her. And on my second run, Shadowheart killed Lazel. And I didn't save Scum either of those. So this is my first time having Lazel at the end of the game. So this is kind of cool. What's inside? Oh, 
I romancing anyone? I've romanced a lot of characters on this run. Already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place to to of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need. If they're just willing to fight today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The one who comes to save the city. They will lay the final stitch on the fate of Baldur's Gate. The Fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flare. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth, friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The fist eyes your lithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. What I miss? My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. What do you think you're going to do for Whatever me? Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. My people have never hunted a monster this large. They are eager to join the fray. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. And whatever company you keep. Brother, Heaven nobody gives a shit. The souls in the city. Oh, hello. Call my name, and I'll bring the hellfire. I love the alliances. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. Okay. Yeah, I do wish that there was more content with Omelium. Maybe Larian had plans for that, but the game just turned out so big that they weren't able to continue with that. We fight to defeat the Netherbrain. We fight to take control of its crown. To our freedom! Not a bad speech. We'll kind of awkward ourselves. afterwards, but okay. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Uh, I'm working with Raphael. I'm trying to get the crown for him. All right, losers. Bodies, bloods. This is the dream. You are I'll catch y'all on the flip side. I think I have plenty of globes of invulnerability. Yeah, I do. I don't need any. Um, the only thing I might need are some invisibility potions if we want to get through this part fairly quick. I don't know if I really feel like going through all the battles. They're really not that hard. They just take a really long time because there's so many combatants. I mean, this is it. Might as well just buy everything, right? <laughs> This is it, folks. Doesn't really have anything good, though. I'll take that. I'll take that. Doo -doo. We'll take this just in case we need it. Actually, two of them. Because the funny thing is when you're on Tactician, Larian really screws with you. Because if you play the game on Balanced first, there's a, bunch of there's a bunch of restoration pods as you progress through this part of the game. And on Tactician, they don't have the Restoration Pods. Or there's less of them. 
So you get to the final boss and you have no spell slots, but you played before on balance, so you think that you're going to have a long rest. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go kick some ass, man. So before I do summons... Before I do anything... We have the Hunt Wardens, the Watch. So the Watch is like the uh, guard force, police force for the upper city specifically. The Flaming Fist is the lower city and the outer city. Flaming Fist is uh, basically the military force that controls the city though. We have Mizora and then Kithrak Inferno. Ooh, calling a red dragon. Yep, I got those angel potions. I just bought two of them. Uotoa scammed. Actually, I can't remember. Am I able to get through this? Hold on, let me think for a second. Fall back! Fall back! Fuck you! Leave him be! <coughs> Woo! Oh. Oh. oh, still wielding Norfolk Hammer? It doesn't really matter, though. My bar doesn't take weapon attacks anyways, but sure, we'll switch off it. We'll go to the Crimson Mischief. All right, so we can go around the left side, um, or I could just book it up through the middle with invisibility potions. Let's let's give it a try. Um, Nothing hurts anymore. I've got a long road ahead. All right, what now? We have two invisibility potions left. <sighs> Something tells me this isn't going to go as planned. Oh my god. Does this thing have see invisibility? Imagine if I TPK'd right here. Imagine if I TPK'd. I don't know if I can throw invisibility potions on the ground to get multiple characters, but I'm not going to risk it. So let's go ahead and... Should have went into turn-based mode. No, I'm not gonna. Ah, oh, shit! I didn't think this through. What the? sake time to press ahead No 
Not alive. Need to get to the brain. Now! Let's see if that works. What if I go into the final battle with only my bard right now? That would suck. I don't think I'd be able to defeat the Elder Brain in time. Yeah, I could have only done one character, but I didn't really think that through before. I didn't even know that you could bring one character. Like, it wasn't in my brain at the time until I got up here. There we go. Knew it. Okay. The only problem is I was hoping to have more... You know, I wish I saved some of those invisibility potions. I have a scroll and I have that. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and let's call in everybody. Let's do our buffing now. Why don't they call him three? What the hell, man? Let's call in Scratch. Honestly, since this is the final fight, I might as well go all out. So let's call in Planar Ally. Cast Death Ward on a bunch of people. Shit. Who did I not give it to? Death War. Oh, I didn't give it to Shadowheart. The hell is Shadowheart? Can't afford to stay up. Oh. I am Shadowheart. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a pretty classic moment right there. For some reason, I didn't think I was Shadowheart. I was trying to find Shadowheart as Shadowheart. You know what? Let's make sure that doesn't happen again and let's do this. Okay. There we go. All right. That'll make that a little bit better. That's a fucking classic. Um, What else can I do here? We can do... Oh, I got great ideas. I got great, great ideas right now. Let's go ahead and put Lazel into Angelic Slumber. She'll get all of her spell slots back. 
And then... I already have the Conjure Elemental. I applaud your taste. Going to turn-based mode, I'm going to do Haste. Haste is concentration, though. Let's do invisibility on... Gotta get somebody to the top. Still breathing, despite everything. Bolt of Celestial Light. Gomer, what's up, man? Thanks for renewing your channel membership. I appreciate that. You got that golden wolf. Several years of channel membership. Thanks a lot, man. Now, the question is, is it worth using angelic slumber on Gale? I have to wait two turns. I lose two turns of invisibility. I think I'm going to. Okay, so here we go. You guys ready for this? Two turns. Here we go. Oh! Why did it? Okay. Angelic Slumber gets rid of concentration. Damn it. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Not worried about it. Not worried about it. Still in a better situation than I was in before. Actually, let's do three. I'm gonna do one, two, th one, two. Okay, and then we're gonna take Lily. And we're going to... Damn, I don't have my invisibility potion with Lily. Let's see if all, the, all, is that all that going to go away? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. This orb remains an option. One that could put an end to the absolute once and for all. You're plotting something, aren't you? Come on, then. Out with it. I'd rather know before we take on that cerebral monstrosity. plan as any while staring into the moor of perdition. Shall we? 
I wonder if my characters are going to be invisible. I feel like they will be. Because they're not in the cutscene, but that's just the cutscene. Oh, did you say black as well be done, Jackie? Yeah, Darker just been a nice playthrough so far. I know I missed a few of the scenes, but probably my favorite way to play VG3. Well, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about here are, are the legendary actions, whatever they may be. The thing is, you don't want to go inside the portal too the early. Of Cassus, the sight of power, the sight of domination. Because all the platforms will be the destroyed. Medicines. Perhaps if we use them here, they'll work this time. I wonder what happens if Orpheus dies in the beginning. How do you... How do you get the portal open? That face. The one in my dreams. I know you. I know everything. Your thoughts, your feelings, your weaknesses, and so do they. Please have invisibility. Please, 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 please. Okay, I still have it. Yep, okay. All right, perfect. You know, honestly, I might take the diva into the portal with me. I don't think I even need it, though. I think I'm going to have enough damage. So, you know what? Let's send the... Let's send him over here. Get some aggro. We're just going to use him as a distraction. I wonder if it'd be better to put them down here or put them up top. Justin, thanks for the dollar ninety-nine. <laughs> you want me to throw the beholder? If I have an extra action for it, I will.
my way. Okay, okay. For a minute, I didn't think you get, didn't think you got that. Pull the fire. What's up, man? Thanks for the nine ninety nine. I appreciate that. Let us witness glory, strength, wisdom, but most importantly, honor. Thanks. The only problem here is I don't want to group everybody up too much because there'll probably be a fireball or something of the sorts coming here in the near future. So actually that's a that's pretty good right there. That's really good. using the Gur Hunters as a bunch of pawns as fodder for the battlefield. <laughs> Dragon will cast Fireball. That's what I said, right? That's why I'm not grouping everybody up. Don't want any AoE damage to mess up my invisibility. Things of that sort. opponent turns to wait for here. Thanks for lurking, Amy's. This is taking forever. Shout out to the unassailable mage. That's the store name. Sent me this last year. It's badass. It's a real Warhammer too. That thing would bash a skull in. One swing, you're dead. Biatch. Oh my god!
Not so much for the Gur Hunters. Dude, they are casting some crazy magic missiles. Die! Shut up, Brain. I'm smarter than you. Oh, I didn't even think to check for legendary actions. Oh, we don't have any yet. Does the dragon have any? Oh, shit. The great drake will use its fire breath on the next creature that attacks it. Okay. All right. Honestly, I might take an opportunity attack to fly up here. I don't think I can make it, though. Fucking shield. Man, these ghouls mess with the initiative order. So annoying. You usually can uh, switch it up, but it doesn't. It's not letting me know. Well, that kind of messed me up a little bit. I didn't expect to get counterspelled. Wish I could switch to Shadowheart's turn, but the ghoul in between doesn't let me. Man, why did I do that? I should have just flew in the first place. Now I can't even take a potion of speed. Luckily, Shadowheart is right. Where's Shadowheart? She's right here, so I should be able to get over there.
much for peace. You have bardic inspiration. Did I get silenced? Shit. Well, that changes things. Should have looked at that first. Holy crap. That's not good. That's not good at all. I was going to do Globe of Invulnerability. That's why I waited so long. And now I can't even do it with Shadow. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. Damn. Buddy Orpheus over here is struggling too. I gotta spread out. This is really, this is not good. I'm all grouped up. The dragon could do one fireball over here. And things could change. I gotta spread out a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it, man. I wanna start this, but I really needed uh I really needed that globe of invulnerability. This is making me a little nervous now. Thirty-six percent chance disadvantage. We have all these. Concentrated blasts, nebulous black hole. I wish there was a dodge action in this game. Sorry guys, I'm pretty playing pretty slow right now. I mean, this is the end of the game. I've made it this far in honor mode. I don't want to do something careless and then I end up TPK in at the end. That would really suck, so. Yeah, damn, it sucks that I couldn't do Globe of Invulnerability. That was the whole thing. I don't even know if it's worth doing Karsus' Compulsion right now. 36% chance. Not even worth taking the damn dude. This one Alith that has one HP and he's still alive. Absolutely ridiculous. Wait, can you use a scroll with... Hold on. No way! No way! I'm so happy that I tried that. I didn't think I had access to my own inventory. Holy crap. That's incredible. You mother... Fucker. Who else has counterspell? God. Damn, those fucking counter spells are rough.
Look how many opponents there are in this fight. It's crazy. Would that work? Oh, Gal's not in the globe? I think... He is in the globe. So with Sanic's suggestion, the globe is in vulnerability to damage. Let's counterspell that. Command flee on us. Surrender. You have already failed. Uh oh. Gotta get inside this damn portal, dude. Oh, you know what's interesting? I think the AoEs might still cause a concentration for the globe. Oh my god, thank god I called in the summons. <laughs> god bless Avernus. Aha! shield man dude these guys got you know what? i'm getting a taste of my own medicine because my characters have shield and counter spell also cal <laughs> does all right let's see we got one right here 71 hp i think i need to do 20 anything too crazy here um honestly probably gonna heal up orpheus a little bit um let's see we got this guy right here with 37 hp not too worried about him or so worried about the mind flares. I'm saving my action surge for the final boss. I think he's probably fine. I probably could hit this guy, kill him, and then come back in. You bow, we break. Great weapon master. I'm saving curriculum of strategy for the final boss. Um, you know, honestly, it might not be a bad idea. This actually might not be a bad idea. And I'm going to do it. And some of you guys won't understand why, but I'm doing it. I can't risk anything. The reason why I did that, if you guys are wondering, I think it's worth spending the scroll of invulnerability because I'm not going to need it here soon in the next fight and making sure that if Orpheus somehow loses his concentration, I still have Gale over here who has another globe going over him. That's the most important thing right now. So I think that's probably a, probably a safe, good player right there. 
All right, let's see though. We have a ton of ton of spell slots here. Um, I don't remember how this the infernal thing goes, so I'm not gonna call it in. I could call in Mazora right now, just to just to make sure, you know, or call in Mazora on the next phase. Rain down powerful infernal sorcery and possibly disintegrate foes. All right, let's go ahead and heal. Let's heal Orpheus up here. Okay, so he's got 42 right now, full HP. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I just don't want to waste too many spell slots right now. There's really no point. Because we're about to go in here shortly. Yeah, but that's fine. Level 3 spell slot won't hurt. Man, look at this. It's so crazy, isn't it? Floating mind flayers. Get him, boy. That's funny. Killing their own guy. What's up, Bug? How are you? Yeah, this is pretty much the final battle. Phase one of the final battle. Shadowheart is a light cleric. The chain bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. It's vulnerable, but not defeated. Part two, here we go. Use the portal. We will bring it down together. All right, let's see what shenanigans we have for this next part. Luckily, I saved almost all my spell slots, so. No legendary action yet. Four hundred and fifty HP. Now I have to learn the Illithid abilities. Well, that was stupid.
Ah, oh, damn, that didn't work. Should have counterspelled that. The only, the only bad thing right now is all my party members are grouped up right here, and it's not my turn, so... Hopefully we don't get like an AoE that just destroys everybody. What's up, Kit? How are you? Yeah, I don't know if the globe just disappears when you open up the portal or what. Yeah, I lost his concentration somehow. Oh wait, it's showing that the globe is still up. Interesting. Yeah, I still have the status condition globe. I mean, it makes sense if I lost Orpheus's globe, but... We're gonna find out right now. Invulnerable. I guess the globe is still up. <laughs> Just can't see it. Doing pretty good, Kit, yourself. I'm just waiting for like all this stuff to pop up where it just gets like a ton of legendary actions. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, I can't. Huh. Okay. Well, that was a waste gonna keep him over here all right unfortunately I'm silenced for one turn which really sucks actually that really sucks that that happened I wish I counterspelled that damn it man this will be a nice nice damage boost right here Shit, 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 shit. Okay, and all these are about to blow up too. Damn, dude, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous right now. This is it. It's what this Interesting. Forty percent chance for hold monster on the nether brain. I almost feel like it's worth it. I almost feel like it's worth giving it a try. Or I could start on damage right now. wonder if he's going to die. Hmm. 
Us is living out an epic tale right now. Sacrificing himself in the final boss battle to hold the dragon back. Gotta get all my companions in there. I think next round I'm about to do some serious damage. You know how you'd be kind of screwed in this final battle is if you did like a full party of like physical damage dealers with that immunity? That'd be pretty crazy. What's up, Odessa? Thank you, thank you. Lethargic next turn for Tav? Yeah, it's alright. Tav ain't doing that much anyways. Gotta get Lazel down there. That's all we need, folks. Lazel and get Gale on his turn. This guy's going down. Keep forgetting that I'm in the globe right there. Hopefully when I get everybody in, this initiative order goes away. Elf, thank you so much for the prime. Good to see you. I wish I could get down there in one single turn. Whoa, this looks like a... Holy shit, dude. Am I gonna run out of platforms? Like, no joke. I better get going here. Oh, come on. We're even with Indomitable. Dude, this isn't, this actually isn't going as planned right now. I'm a little bit nervous. <sighs> I am a little bit nervous right now.
Dude, it keeps happening to Lazelle. She won't be able to resist that. You gotta be shitting the dog right now. Unbelievable. Every time she gets totally affected by that. Should have went first with Gale. That's what I should have done. Let me switch turns.
Why is that death? This is it. This is it. I have to I have to defeat the brain on this turn if I miss or if I don't do it. Oh, there's still a thing over here. I didn't think Gal was in the Oh, you know what I you know what I haven't Oh man. I totally totally forgot about the mark for negations. I was only looking at the platforms. I was only looking at the platforms. Swift and lethal. <laughs> Damn, man. Now we have bludgeoning immunity, thunder immunity, and lightning immunity. And I can't even switch weapons. Totally forgot about the marked for negations. My mind was solely focused on the blowing up platforms. Mr. Gilligal is a goner now. Wish I had a potion of speed right now. Do you have haste spore grenades? of cold light zero percent chance all right so let me think this through we have one platform over here obviously i have to move over here i'm wondering if i should if i resurrect gale Two turns with Shadowheart. This guy is no longer immune to. Okay, all right, so. Do, do, do. Damn, I feel like this fight is. Uh, I didn't expect this one to be like this. I thought I was gonna roll through this one. I like that legendary action, though. I think that's pretty cool. Kind of makes you use different things. Throw a haste spore on the grenade. It uses up my action and it gives me another action. Shadow heart here who's got to get all the way over here. And I have action surge though too. All right, I got an idea.
Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Shoulda cat. Oh man. Probably should have thrown that on this side of the platform. Oops. Oops. Uh oh. I just hasted the Elder Brain, the final boss of the game. Man, honor mode really is just a different, just different battle, you know. It wouldn't. I wouldn't even care if I was on tactician. Just freaking reload. All right. Looks like I can do radiant damage now. So let's go ahead and. <clears throat> Go ahead and do a sunbeam or i could do kona cold eight to 64 six to 48 let's go cone of cold um hold on let me just double check the descriptions here okay single use lightning immunity that's the play oh i still have another oh, i have a witch bolt scroll Is that even targeting it? Yeah, it is. Okay, 17 cold damage. All right. Oh, shit. Gal went back down. Oh, my God. Why is this so close right now? Damn it, man. Should have cast Kona Cold probably over here and then moved into this area right here, but. Okay, Lazel is not marked for negation right here, so that's good. So let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I got this. Drink one of these potions. I can't throw a potion because I only have a bonus action. Um, hopefully Lazel Shadowheart has room to move in here. I don't think this thing does attack rolls, but just in case, what the hell? All right. Okay, Shadowheart's turn. Only need 52 damage, folks. 52! No more. Oh, <laughs> the decisions. This is freaking crazy, dude. This is crazy. I could jump to over here. I think I could... Hold on, I gotta make sure I save enough to get off these platforms. So, <clears throat> I take my shots now. If the thing does not die, I simply move over onto this platform. Could also throw... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, folks. We ain't done just yet. We ain't done. If I miss... Why did that switch turns? What just happened?
I just needed one more attack. I just needed one attack and I had the opportunity to do it. Oh my god. I had the opportunity to do it. But I chose... I can't believe that just happened. That's gotta be... <gasps> That's gotta be the closest that anybody's ever come to failing an honor mode run right there. Wow, that's insane. I can't believe it. That's crazy. You know what though? I deserve it because I made some mistakes in that final battle, not paying attention to the nether brain orbs that actually deal force damage. If I just simply remembered that mechanic or looked at the status effects of my companions, we never would have been here in the first place. Oh my god, man. I'm trying to figure out what happened to Shadowheart right there. Because I still had my action, so why did it just end? Did anybody catch the reason why it ended? I still had my action. That's crazy. Hey, it is what it is, man. It's been a fantastic run. I don't regret any of it. The hardest fights in this game for me were obviously this fight. I can't believe that I wiped on this one. I, out of all the fights, I didn't think this would be the one that I wiped on. But Answer and Grim turned out to be the hardest battles. <laughs> No honor. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Switching haste effects makes lethargic. Oh my god, dude. I, I didn't know that. So simply running into the haste cloud. The haste cloud was my demise. A fucking haste cloud. The thing that everybody uses to be OP in this game is the cause for my TPK. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right. So, I can't believe it. Well, let that be a learning lesson to you all with the haste thing. I never, and, oh, geez, okay. All right, we're gonna continue the campaign so we can see what the ending is like um, with Raphael and everything, and that's it. No, no gold die for me. It is what it is, you know? Switching haste effects makes lethargic. Yeah, that's, uh, wow. You know, if I just didn't try to get fancy, if I just simply did another guiding bolt, I would have won. Even if I missed, I would have had another turn on that other platform with Lazel. <laughs> Fucking kidding me, man. God. No regrets, baby. No regrets. It's been a good run. We've done most of the optional fights. It's been intense. It's been a good time.
trying to think if I want to do this whole fight again. Right now or not. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. What it is, folks. Guess we start a new run tomorrow, right? Do it all again? <laughs> do I have to do the optional fights if I do it again? Or can I power level to level 12? can I cast here? Do invisibility. Just do invisibility level five targets. One, two, three. Move up a little bit. You gotta be kidding me. Why can't this just be? It's going to be almost impossible to cast invisibility right now on five people in one cast. Um, did going to sleep last time? I think it did break my concentration. So let's go ahead and... Let me just get my spell slots back. We're going to power run this one. Kill the Myconids next run. Oh, my Twitch chat stopped for some reason. Yeah, I, sh I could toss some invisibility potions down, true. All right, yeah, let me try that first. Let's go like this. Let's go. I'll actually have some invisibility potions for this one. Oh, I never mind. I used them all. I used them all on the way up here. All right, let's just go invisibility. Go. Let me do three. Hey, here we go. Thought occurs to you as you gaze at the monstrosity above. Gale's orb remains an option, one that could put an end to the absolute once and for all. You're plotting something, aren't you? Come on then, out with it. I'd rather know before we take on that cerebral monstrosity. <laughs> time for evil dark urge. It's time for a murder hobo run where I kill every damn living being in the entirety on the Sword Coast. You know what's funny too is I think I could have just sacrificed Gale and gotten the golden die too. There it is. The crap we need to use. The figure from my dream. I know and the crowd cast the spell again quickly.
I'm muted right now. What are you talking about? <clears throat> you sure about that? How sure are you, Tuxter? Thank you, Panic. Appreciate that. If you didn't hear me earlier. Nia just says I'm a member again. Hell yeah. Thanks to Panic, right? Catch a fireball over here. Oh shit, I forgot. Uh, Misty Step takes you out of invisibility. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, don't want to get too close. group up that much that's pretty risky go to right here that might be risky too it's so funny how when you're not on honor mode like i'm not really that worried right now it's a totally different feeling because if i if i die right now it really doesn't even matter oh yeah keep going baby keep going oh that's beautiful Spell that bad boy. You can still use Gal in Act Three, of course. What happened to your Gal? Hey, thanks, Carson. No regrets, man. It was fun. Honor mode was for the experience more so than getting the golden die, you know? <clears throat> I guess, uh, uh... So next next time Larian releases another patch, that'll probably be my next honor mode run. I just want to see Raphael in the end credits. What do you guys care more about? Getting the golden die or pleasing Raphael? You know? Pleasing Raphael. Thanks, DT. Up, Kelly. Which fight was the hardest in honor mode? Um, for myself, it was answer for sure. Uh, the grim fight almost caused a TPK for myself, but answer was really intense. I don't think you can push these guys off anymore.
Pleasing Raphael for sure. They come back if you push them. Yeah, that's what I thought. How about you guys? What's what's been the hardest fight for you guys on honor mode? As a proud golden dice owner, F Raphael, I beat his ass in the run too. <laughs> Get as far as I possibly can. Moving. Make sure I don't get pushed off the edge. Alright, Wynn, thank you for the $20 super chat. Well, the ending sucks, but having your name in the credits is better than any golden dice. Thanks. Appreciate it. You died to Bernard in the Arcane Tower and didn't blaze him. Owlbear in the cave with its mate. Yeah, that one catches you a little off guard, doesn't it? Oh, great, I'm silenced again. I wonder if this guy comes back. If you push him, probably not, right? Low chance, though. Going to Queen Six. A little bit too grouped up here, but who cares? It's not honor mode. No choice but to keep going. Definitely way too grouped up. <laughs> All right, brother. What you gonna give me? You gonna cast a globe for me? Is it gonna get counterspelled? Probably gonna get counterspelled. I wonder if it's even worth casting. We got two mind flayers that can counterspell. I don't know how close you have to be to counterspell. Maybe I won't counterspell. Although if I do it with him, no. No, 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 no. I wish I could speed this up a little bit. Anik, thank you for the $20 super chat and the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Owlbear was definitely an oh shit moment when you're low level. Yeah, a lot of these games tend to be front heavy in terms of difficulty. I think it's true for a lot of CRPGs when your character isn't that powerful. By will or by force, you will join us. Damn, dude. That was a lot of damage. I 
time for a couple globes. What do y'all think? Can't counter them all, right? Oh my god! I'm about to lose Orpheus. Oh, you know what sucks too? I didn't think about that. Um, I should have left Orpheus over on this side. <clears throat> and then it doesn't work. Whenever you have like an elemental or a, some of the summons mess up the initiative order to where you can't switch up those that are in consecutive order. I don't know if that's a bug or or what, but usually in this game, if, if you're in consecutive order, you can switch between anybody. But I can't because the earth elemental, I don't know if it doesn't work with Orpheus or what. Okay, why not, right? Okay, this is our only counter spell guy that I have to worry about, and I still have Gale, who is not silenced right now. Or I have to worry about that guy too, I'm not sure. Yeah, at this point in the game, like, I guess you do have to start thinking about being lethargic because if you go into the portal and become lethargic, like, right away, that can be kind of rough, you know? <clears throat> if I do a globe and Gal does a globe, that means that Orpheus will be able to get one up. So let's just try it. Still can't believe that the end of my honor mode run was from running into a haste potion. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. Nice, they both use counter spell. Perfect. Aw, oh, damn it. Gal is frightened. Oh, he's command flee right now. Okay. Guess I can't do anything. Uh, Gal just has double hand crossbows just for the sake of it. Just for looks. There's really no point to it.
I feel like it's opposite in DOS 2, where Act 4 is more tough. I don't know if I felt Act 4 was pretty tough in DOS 2, but Fort Joy as a new player is also really, really tough. playing DOS 2 the other day because I miss it so much was it the haste potion or was it because Orpheus was dead and he couldn't protect you from turning into an illithid Good question. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and watch. Really? I just lost channeling Karsus's compulsion. I see those AoEs. Surrender. You have already failed. Fucking stupid Emperor. No, no! Why did you do that? I was trying to move up. You gotta be kidding me. by these two. I gotta take another haste potion. do one globe then I'll be able to get the other one the problem is the globe will probably go away when Emperor does another AoE attack let's see what this does see if they both counterspell it oh nope they didn't counterspell it nice
and then let me come in. Guess I can't get in there. Not gonna let me in. Look up speedrun strats and do a speedrun stream for the dice. Eh, those are pretty cheesy strats, aren't they? Aren't they? Are any of them actually like legit ways where you play the game or are you just kind of skipping through things? I'm only going to accept the dice if I do the playthrough right. Otherwise, I feel like there's no point in getting the dice. That's just my personal take on it. I don't care what anybody else does. means I got to do it again. Pure cheese. Okay. I don't, I don't get, I, I don't get, I don't get why you would want the golden die if you just cheese the entire game. Like, what's the point of it? I guess if you just want the colored die. Like the whole point of the golden die is is to beat the game on is to is to overcome the challenge of honor mode right that's the way that my brain thinks like why would i cheat to get the die like that i wouldn't feel like there's no point in doing it in the first place Damn, dude. I'm getting thrown around right now. Sadic flee on Lily. Yeah, I guess if you just want the aesthetic of the die, sure, but the die to me is overcoming honor mode. That's the only reason why I do it. The experience of honor mode and overcoming that challenge. That's just my personal opinion. You guys can do whatever the hell you want. Nice. All the enemies are using their action points on those hunters <laughs> yeah exactly Iraq I don't care what people do to get it I'm just sharing my personal feelings on it I've always been like that though I don't I don't take shortcuts on things in life because then I don't get the satisfaction. Some people still get it though, which is fine. Do, 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 do. All of the gur have been turned against me. <laughs> That's funny.
Actually, with Lazelle, let's come over here and let's... I could probably put down this guy in one turn. Sure, there'll be less... Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Nice. Oh shit, now I can't get back in. Then of course we got... We don't care about these people. Damn Emperor over here being a pain in the ass. Hey, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. You guys ready for this? Wonder if this will get counterspelled. Perfect. Aha. Got to keep fighting. Thanks, Elm Tree. You jump in. I didn't have a bonus action. Or did I? All right, so now we're just getting ready to go in. Kind of. Let's go ahead and heal the Emperor a little bit more. Am I running low on those? I don't think I am. Lazel is also pretty low. I wonder if I can get Lazel closer. No, I can't. Nice. Very nice. I don't want to waste spell slots on these guys though you know because we're going to need them on the final boss i have all my spell slots here though let's call in the watch <laughs> wonder if i should time my lethargic so it doesn't go off right when i get in there you know Hey, Sin, what's up? Good idea. That was a great idea to do that. The brain calculated your demise. Oh, I got to end turn, I guess. Oops. Mr. Mind Flayer, make sure you're in, in both globes here, first of all. And we're going to get you right there. Channel that son of a gun. There we go. Can't remember, is that going to work in the globe? I think it might. Do, do, do. Do, do. I don't have a spell slot for it though. Nice. Don't be doing no AOE on me. Oh man, command flee on Orpheus? It's not gonna work. <laughs> Told you. Wait, did it work? Dude, these guys are going all out. Okay, Jess. Happened uh, probably about 30 minutes ago. It's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny TPK. I'm not going to lie. Like the fact that <laughs> I have the final boss of this game on like 16 HP and what ended up taking me down was walking into a spore grenade. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a damn classic. Like it doesn't get any closer than that. And I'm okay with it because I made some mistakes in that final fight too. If that's all that happened, I would be kind of pissed off right now because I would just say I got unlucky. And although there was some unlucky aspect behind that, 
I also made some mistakes too, so. The name of the game. If I didn't make those mistakes, I would have been fine. So it's okay. I deserve it. What's up, easy? How are you? What's going on? Six magic missiles. Yep. Mike and spores are the cause of my TPK. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. Better get to it. Aha! One more round of hastens. So what happens if I take another haste potion right now? You know? I want to see what this does. Or I could call Mazora in during... I've never seen this before. Rain down powerful infernal sorcery and possibly disintegrate foes. I'm kind of curious what that does. Plus two turns of haste. We get a YouTube video of the death of honor mode run. I don't know. I don't know if I could really make a video out of that. Maybe. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm almost lethargic. Gal is hasting for two turns. Yeah, divine intervention probably would have worked, but the simple reason is there's 7,000 choices in this game, and not every choice always comes to your head in every moment. You know? You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I had a lot more problems besides using divine intervention in that last battle. All I had to do was just, God, I gotta stop thinking about it. I've never lost that fight before either. So when the cutscene broke out, I didn't know like was Shadowheart turned into a mind flare. My other characters were gonna be fine. That's the funny thing. Aha! I don't think I used divine intervention on answer. I think I almost used it. You know, sometime on my next run, not on an honor mode run, I'd like to just try to wipe this battlefield and take out the dragon. Like take it slow and just work your way up. The only problem with that is when you actually get to the elder brain. 
Oh shit. Uh oh. When you actually get to the other brain, you wouldn't have too many spell weakened. slots left. This is our chance. Cannot, will not submit. Even bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. It's vulnerable, but not defeated. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Damn, he just automatically goes in without me actually clicking on going into it. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Damn, I think I have to counterspell this. Can't even see what's going on. What the hell is going on right now? What a way to go out. I know, right? You will not yeah, I like the brain's legendary action. Definitely makes you think a lot more. This is kind of weird, isn't it? This is kind of weird. If I don't get stunned and I can actually go in. Yeah, I know. It sucks that the timer's going off. Okay, Mrs. Brain. It will break you. Well, this is a rough start. Okay, I needed those platforms like half the battlefield right there. I could Back to empty is slowed Can't make more than one attack So that's what was screwing me up earlier I will ascend. You know what I should do Start off with See, sometimes actually having alert actually can mess you up a little bit. I'd say 95% of the time the alert feat works in your favor, but sometimes I don't want Lazel to go first. But I have no choice, so I can't unleash hell on this guy because every time I do, he uses that uh, mental brain thing. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is, folks. I still was affected by it. Wait, I, I succeeded on the save, though. What was the save for?
So I failed the saving throw against Psionic Retribution. And I succeeded against Mind Broken, I guess. I think of the savage attacker feet. It's good, for sure. Good feet. This is it. Its will is weakening. Not gonna get a chance to move Orpheus. Yes, I am. Yeah, the second that Shadowheart walked into the Haste Cloud, the turn just ended immediately. And then I was taken over and turned into a Mind Flayer. I'm going to go back and rewatch it later, but... It's certainly an interesting way to go out, that's for sure. ruined it as always. True. True, true, true. Very true. I gotta figure out what attack is good here. the mind flare let's see what happens why not let's check it out Twenty seven damage, I'll take it. You might say she stepped in it. You know what's funny too is if I threw the haste grenade further out on the platform, that might not have ever happened either. Damn it, dude, these guys are killing Gale right now. Unbelievable. I haven't even had a chance to bring him in yet. Keeps getting skipped. awfully tricky. I don't know if Mind Sanctuary would work or not. Because this Elder Brain's reaction prevents you from being hasted. 
Well, damn. That was the entire field. Hey, Mitch. Thanks for the $5 super chat. <laughs> Thanks, man. True. Very true. Agreed. Oh, did I just lose somebody? No, okay. Its will is weakening. We have the upper hand. Time to end it. Got slashing immunity too. Sucks. Suck, 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 sucks. Potion of speed is definitely still the way to go here. Got three turns with it. Oh, I wonder if I should take it with her. Hold on. Maybe I don't want to take it with the first person because whoever lands the first attack is going to get... They can only do this one... Wait, can it do that every... Oh, it's a constant action. Let me try something, because I really don't care. I mean, I do want to win right now, but if we don't, it's not a big deal. Got a heart's mind broken. Time to strike. Now, if we come over to Lazel, we drink a potion of speed. Let me just try this out. All right, let me just try this, folks. And then we switch to Foe Hammer. Then I move over here. My path be true. Oh, I don't have action surge anymore. That sucks. Okay, that does work. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Is the Emperor going to be able to make it out of there? I hope so. Okay, not too shabby. Let's move back this way. Ready. All right, Shadowheart's done, messed up now. Let's go ahead and maybe jump down a platform. Might hurt a little bit. That's going to hurt a little bit, but I really have nowhere else to go. Do I have fly with her? No, I don't. Oh, wow, this is interesting. So now I think, like, what platform am I going to be left with? Am I going to even be able to get my... In the last round, am I going to be, a, be even able to get to safety? Maybe I should stay up here. This should be interesting. I will ascend. <laughs> Bet you're crazy, man. Thanks for the $45 super chat. Holy crap. Yeah, the Emperor's not too happy right now. Bug. Thanks, Mitch. Crazy bastard. All right, let's see how this goes. You never go wrong with the ability score increase, right? But if you're playing as like a fighter, you have the opportunity to get to 20 a lot quicker. Especially if you use the Hag's hair and then you can take feats like Savage Attack. I prefer Great Weapon Master before um, before I boost my strength, though, because at earlier levels, that flat plus 10 damage is insane. This is our chance. Farewell to the Nether Brain. Yeah, so when you, die in when you die in Honor Mode, it still remains Honor Mode in terms of having the legendary actions. You just don't get the golden die, so I think it's still Tactician Plus. All right, let's see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're out of potions of speed. I'm trying to think if I threw that. I'm, I'm nervous about the haste potions now. If I threw one at the ground right here. I would have two attacks. I would have one attack with Gale. And then when it comes back around to Shadowheart's turn, 
She's, she's, yeah, that actually might be a good play. Okay, let's do that this time. And if it screws me over, oh well, shit happens. All right, so that still gives me an attack. Nice. Nice. Okay, my girl Lily. Where are you going to go? Huh? Huh? Where are you going to go? Lily. Lily pad. All right, what do we got here? We got immunity to lightning, psychic, necrotic, and acid. Well, shit. I don't have any other spells. We don't have immunity to fireball, though. What do y'all think about two fireballs right here? Let's do it. Why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. I think that's going to be it, folks. I think that's going to be it. How much damage did I do last time? Zero damage. That was stupid. Dude's got an immunity to psychic right now. That's why. I don't know what else I could have done. We got a little problem. Nice, Mitch. Nice. You're too nice. You die in real life if you die in honor mode? Damn. Alright, well, I think it's over now. Because the Elder Brain is bludgeoning immune. So let's go ahead and do a quick switch over to my beautiful, beautiful sword, which is not Shteridus. And let's take a little swing here. Acid, necrotic, and psychic with the soul thing. But we already have... Oh, okay, we could do that. Move up here. Invalid target. You can't use soul breaker. Never mind. Okay. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, damn, we have Radiant Immunity. <laughs> I mean, it's over now, but let's just, let's go out in style. Death is but a word away. It's pretty much over, folks. Force damage, Radiant, and fire. That's funny. Impossible. Pain. Fear. Terror. Reconsider. Assess. Implore. Surrender. Shut the hell up, brain. There. At last. It is subdued. Spare me. Join me. Wield me! Become absolute! And thus, I honor my mother's legacy. The grand design, once again, ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. Yeah, you know, in my defense, you guys are right. There was no timer when I did it on the first run. Therefore, I wasn't really looking at the time. I wasn't as much in panic mode on that first attempt. I wonder why that didn't show up. I'm, I'm re-watching footage right now. I just thought on my first run I was part of honor mode. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. I bet you not sh maybe not showing the timer is part of honor mode. And since I'm playing on in custom mode right now, now the timer comes back up. I don't know. Something to think about. Go ahead, command the brain to destroy all tadpoles in itself. 
We could probably skip through this a little bit. Hopes, nightmares, and the screams of yeah, I'll try again in the future, Hux. All you got it in honor mode? Feeling. Okay, well, it bugged out for me. Burns in your brain. But that's okay. Silence. Not sure if it would have changed anything anyways. Urge and worm. Your brain is battered and bruised. But it is yours. Yours at last. <laughs> At least next time he can fight Orin in true honor mode, naked, drunk, and as a dwarf. <laughs> true, true. Thanks, Godzilla. Oh yeah, for you guys that are just stopping in right now, I wiped on this encounter, on the Elder Brain encounter, about 30 minutes ago, and I lost my honor mode run. This is just custom mode. It's a bummer, but it is what it is. Just a video game, right? Yeah, GG's. I had a great time on this run, and that's really what I care about. I'll probably do honor mode on the next time that Larian... My next playthrough will probably be honor mode. I don't see why I would play any other mode from here on out, but... If I play Tactician, I'm just not going to be that engaged with the game because... There's going to be no fear of death, so I'll probably only play honor mode from here on out. And we'll get the gold die next time with my OP open hand monk build. GG's enemies. True, I did save Baldur's Gate. That's all that matters, right? Saving the innocent citizens of the beautiful city of Baldur's Gate. Azurai, thank you for the prime for your second month of that. Appreciate it. Panel of Hell music. Did you guys not think the same thing too when you hear those are those French horns? Probably French horns. All I think about is the start of a panel from hell in early access. Yeah, tr true, Grim. I agree. Might as well do honor mode because you can just continue in custom mode if it doesn't work out. You don't want to start over. I'm going to run to the bathroom before we go through this new dialogue at the end. Going to use some speak with animal potions. That should offer some new stuff. Be right back. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Loss of a mind is a terrible thing, but this time, I think I'll make an exception. I should feel relieved, yet my blood still simmers. Against all odds, we cured ourselves. Free from the parasite. Free from the prospect of ceramorphosis. I can hardly believe it. We will not become accursed illithids. Not to cast any slight on you, of course. Your present form is but a sign of your gallantry. 
Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can... My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. Holy shaky. You helped me destroy that abomination. We're going to do something different with this guy this time. You must kill me. But first, I... Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry well, she wasn't so twitchy. My Hurts my eyes. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos. And ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Blackith. Release our people. Be our future. You have my and sword, our Squid. Legacy. And my hammer. You should do this, Lazel. Your people need you. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakit's chains. Enough talk. Give me my freedom. Freedom from you this guys think? form. What should I do? Yes. But for how long? Squid's on the menu, my boy. mind screams. Will never stop until it has slipped away from me entirely. I will not be Gake. I did what I did to save my people. One quick the swing rest is up to them. We got free Someone food at the Krusty else Tavern must tonight. Rise within the ranks to lead the revolution against Vlakith. Give me my freedom from this form. Release my soul to the astral seas. Well, I still have one to call my own. Lazel Origin Monk next. You may not be able to return to your people, Orpheus, but you deserve to live to see their future. Easy dub. Should use friends on him, that'd be kind of funny. Perhaps you are right. I may not be the one to lead my people, but I can still bear witness to their glory. I shall find a place for myself in a corner of these realms. For even in darkness, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were Heard a it before. worthy ally. His people are blessed to have him as their prince. I just hope he finds peace in his new form. Would I go with next for origin character? I don't know. Good question. This is cool. I haven't seen Lazel's ending before. Damn, Lazel. I'll never forget you. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlargir, Liberator. She always dreamed of being a dragon rider. You guys want me to kill him? I gotta fix that twitchiness. It was like that last time, too. To and I think on the first playthrough, too. I wonder why they haven't fixed that yet. I have not seen Lazel's ending. It's simple. First playthrough. The Yankee are departing in peace. Curious sight in a day already full of them. With the Gith Yankee gone, Tell there's a nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering. Waiting to be rebuilt. My first run, 
Orin killed Lazel. As I failed a persuasion check, and on my second run, Shadowheart killed Lazel. The crown. And I don't save scum usually on my first couple runs. So Somewhere in the Chiontha. I just roll with it. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. The power of Carsus would be in my hands. But what then? What would I do with it once I have it? What do I have against Twitch? Talking to me? Wait, how do I give it to Raphael? Leave it where it is, Gal. A wise suggestion. I felt a hubris once before and landed myself with this orb. They could rather not make the same mistake again. If this adventure has taught me anything, is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mistra will summon me soon enough, but until then. Now I, I can do save points. Celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. I'm not sure about um, <laughs> drink in hand, but I think we've all earned some reckless abandon. How about you? Any thoughts on what's next? I don't know how long this playthrough was. Not sure. Qu a lot quicker than my other ones, though, because we skipped a lot of dialogue. I hear Amn is lovely this time of year. <laughs> I assume you will not be surprised to learn I long to escape the city. I miss silence, greenery. Oh, I see, some guy. That's my bad. What we do once we get to the? Ow! What the? I didn't catch it. Oh no! Oh God! Sad well, ending for a star, yeah. It was. It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. Don't worry, y'all. Last playthrough, I had him ascend. I suppose that's the last time any of us will see him. And the last time I'll ever see the sun. <laughs> Carlax always City naked in my epilogues. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Ooh, that's some ugly armor. What the hell am I wearing? Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. So, how'd I do? Um, does it matter? So it is. We gave this city back its life. We did that. Mm -hmm. Careful, hot. I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. Yeah, so I never finished yeah, Shadowheart's quest on purpose be, to see it? what would happen. I wanted to live in my city. No, no, Karlak, I won't allow this. You're going to live. We're returning to Avernus together. You can't. I know why you're afraid. I know why you don't want to go, but I'll be with you this time. I won't leave your side. I haven't done this ending before.
So no shadow heart. So what I did was I left the end of her quest undone just to see what would happen. You who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. It's dead mind flayers in the streets. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You oh, sorry, are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Which ads suck balls. YouTube's way better. There's no YouTube ads. Only in the beginning of the stream. At least for now. Well, it soldier. might change that in the future. Here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zariel's going to come at us with everything she's got. And now Raphael's in the mix too. Gods. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon. But there's just enough time. DLC in Avernus? Take out Zariel? <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you. Guys, smoking's not cool. Okay. Imps are fast, but careless. Unless you're in Avernus. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget. You asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. You look cool doing it? No, you look like a damn idiot when you smoke. Unless you're in Avernus. Look at her butt cheeks. She's just running naked in Avernus. Yeah, so there's a couple companions that didn't finish their quests. Will included, so I don't know what we're going to get out of Will. The came, you were hip deep in Lemur slime, swarmed by hell wasps, and about to drive the killing blow on a magma claw. Cutting through the dreadful buzz of the wasps and the screams of the damned, a familiar, comforting voice echoed in your mind. With us, you requested your attendance in Faerun to gather with your friends and allies. Those who stood against the Absolute at your side. A reprieve from the Blood War. A few hours of respite with the stars above and good company to cheer you. Karlak's heart can take the strain of leaving Avernus Ooh, for a few short armor. hours. But it might burst with joy to see those friends again. Is Shadowheart and Will going to be here or not at all? Because I didn't do their quests. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Now how do I give the crown Though to Raphael? Did I mess something up? Apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute. Tonight, fate renews thy bond once more. What does it let me load into? Oh, there's still only one load point? When you're on custom mode? Or I only created one load point. Wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. Yeah, I think the Raphael scene is the after the credit scene, but is there not a way to like see Raphael before then? Aw, Shadowheart's still here. So, alright, so if that's motivation for you guys, make sure to finish your companion quests. Because you don't get, like, the special dialogue scenes nearly as much. Starting to wonder if you'd show up. Honestly? Well, come here, will you? It's been forever.
Will is confused. <laughs> a little more substantial than before less camping and scrounging off the land i take it are you calling me chubby filled out and healthy is what i was going for don't tell me you miss living off whatever scraps we found in crates and barrels i'm glad you seem well trudy i had no doubt but i'm glad to hear you say it all the same don't Kind of curious to see what would happen if I did that. Whoa! Did a weird button. Hey, little kitty. Already feeling better. Supposed to be potions of animal speaking around here. That was part of the update. Anybody know where they are? No traps, please. I love the music. Oh, that's cool. For two months, I trained the Knights of the Comet. Use an astral two projection? Two more, I skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet, I traveled through Limbo. To see your face, it brings me even more pleasure than taking a royal Table, okay. visitor's head. Aw, oh, man, why you gotta... Don't be, don't be making me fail, Arcana... Don't be making me fail checks in the epilogue. I think we can do away with the RNG system, right? <laughs> For this one part of the game. You're looking a bit less solid than I expected. A bit. It's taken a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure my projection. Very cool. Worth it, I'd say. I miss this place. This... <sighs> Fay run. And where are you now that you couldn't be here in the flesh? Shrektalor. Never heard of it, should I have? I wouldn't expect you to. The capital city of the Githzerai. Oh, wow. Exiled people, once kin with mine, until the madness of civil war ripped our one sky into two. Algish sent word of the rebellion to their god king Zareth Minyaragith through the cosmos. He's agreed to parley. Awesome. It's fallen to me to secure an alliance. Well, that's pretty cool. DLC and Shrek Karoth. Hold on. The great warrior Lazel on a diplomatic mission? Exactly the reaction I expected. My blade is keen as ever. But it was you who showed me that a proper victory doesn't always require a razor-sharp edge. Sometimes, a sincere plea is more persuasive than a dagger against the neck. Minyara Gith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. This is his way. It is in this spirit that I must meet him. And if he refuses, I carry on. Gravity pulls me in but one direction. I am a warrior of the Comet. I will not rest until I burn Vlakit's bones to ash and smash up Electri to pieces. My people will be free. Chuck. But you've heard that refrain before. Zealous, bossy, insistent. All part and parcel of my undeniable charm. And when will I see you again? Soon. When the comet has risen. When the Lich Queen has crumbled to dust. I miss this place. More to the point. I missed you. Ooh. I'll be back one day. The Overgod himself couldn't oh, keep me away. Oh, shite. Damn. You made it. <laughs> Now the revelry can truly begin. Oh, great. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. Yeah, there's so many, like, unfinished stories here. 
which makes sense. I mean, because our characters are still young. It's not like they're just going to go die. They all have missions and personal goals. So many opportunities for, you know, future games or DLCs. I don't know if Larian would do like a BG4 continuation on top of these characters. Because then you're getting into like the high D&D levels and you only have so many to work with. I mean, you could do more beyond that. You could create some system around that. Um, but that might throw a bunch of people off that be coming into the series for the first time. So my guess is if they do do another D&D &D game, we're going to start back at level 1. But if they do DLCs, maybe we do get to experience some higher levels. Or they just do DOS 3. Let me guess, just as nature intended. <laughs> just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. I know it can, for I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. That's life, I'm afraid. We can't go back. Hmm. True, we cannot. But we can make a future the best, even the fondest of memories. Then each reunion shall be all the sweeter. And who's to say we need to make such gatherings a rare occasion? My hearth is yours to warm yourself beside always. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. You first, Helson. I want to hear about the life you've made, the people you've helped. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes, and the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony stronger together is this the balance that you wished for in a manner of speaking yes though it is a more complex evolving beast than i could ever have anticipated true balance is no simple fixed thing hmm. i see that now we welcome folk from all walks of life anyone who wishes for a new start naturally it can be chaotic at times but it is a thrilling sort of chaos. It thrives in ways I could never have dreamed of. I'll need to see this place for myself. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no deep their appetite for bedtime. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a oh, few shit. short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Sorry for skipping that. I expect you'll have a few towels that will need to wait until they're older. <laughs> More than a few, I should think. At least I shall be equipped to explain the birds and the bees when the time comes. But I hope that time is quite a while off yet. Had I known bedtime tales were a possibility, I'd have sought you out at camp. Ha. You would ask to be tucked in next. But whatever the intrepid adventurer needed, I would have been glad to provide. I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. Yeah, Vernus or Gith DLC would be pretty sweet. Avernus has proven <clears throat> lively, but at least I have Karlak by my side. Her laugh parts the clouds. I am glad you and Karlak have an enduring friendship. It shall serve as a strong lesson for the children, as well as a stirring tale. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Tell me about Thaniel and Oliver. Do you see much of them? <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. 
What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces. Romance whenever they scale. Hey, wild to make DLC. a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods, as far as I'm concerned. In what of the grove do you stay in touch? On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Corga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. Keto biceps, girl. Still partial to roaming in bear form, I take it? I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. <sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. You guys want me to hug Helson? I'll do it. By all means. I'm not going to feel safe and secure, though. Why does this feel so good? I could get used to this. You seem more settled than I expected of you. I thought that was against your nature. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. What? They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. What am I going to do with a wooden duck? Are you kidding me, Helson? The minute that he turns the other way, I'm chucking it into the river. Oh, it's lovely. Thank you. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. Wooden duck, are you kidding me right now? Well... Look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And look at you. Straight from the hells. Still reeking of brimstone. I take it you've been having fun. Killing devils, causing chaos. I can't complain. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less from someone of your talents. You always brought a whiff of madness to the battlefield. <laughs> I do miss it. You're in a good mood. Have you been drinking, Astaria? Hmm. Cheeky. I've been very well behaved. Thank you. I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> it turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. I could have told you that. Yes, but you say all sorts of things. Honestly, I don't even listen half the time. It has made for a nice change, though. Inspiring hope in people instead of terror. Well, I do try to inspire a little terror. I'm still me, after all. Do you ever miss walking in the sun? I did at first. But then I realized these shadows. This darkness, it's all a part of me. I spent too long defined by what other people did to me. The choices other people made for me. But that's over now. 
This is who I am. In all my glory, for better and for worse. Good luck. And to you. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. That's funny. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um, see you later, darling. Funny that Astarian, you know, references the first time that he threatens you because it's like such a first meeting for a companion and everybody takes it differently. So many people just put an end to Astarian like right then and there. All right, so we got Lazel. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Curse to put my hands on everything. Absolute emergency over. Declares fist. Last of lithids rooted from sewers. Devil's fee down on its luck. Boycott continues amidst infernal rumors. Head banker deposed at counting house. Yeah, we do have Will right here. Um, okay. I was hoping you'd make your way over. Do, do, do. We got Borislav up here. Bobby. Composer of BG3. All of us are mostly sure that that's him. And where are those damn speak with animal potions? Still don't see them. Alright, let's have a chat with Will. Gods, I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean... Yeah. Oh, I clicked the space I bar, sorry. The subject before I dig this hole any deeper. It's so good to see you. And I've got so much to tell. The trolls I've torn open. The ghouls I've cleaved. The stories I've been itching to tell. Well, that sounds more fun than going uh, to Avernus. I don't suppose you'd indulge me. I'm listening. <laughs> You'll have to choose one tale and one tale only, I'm afraid. Or I'll be yammering all night. You want to hear about the Stegosaurus that bullied Candle Keep, the impossible what? Lich, or the young dragon who crawled out of Deeping Cave? A dinosaur battle. Tell me every bloody detail. Wizards have a penchant for unusual pets. A flying cat. Delightful. A menagerie of dinosaurs, on the other hand. The wizard in question was called Rylan. Had a half dozen eggs smuggled into candle keep from the jungle did you know it takes three ten days for a hatchling stegosaurus to reach the size of a cave bear Ryland sure didn't it wasn't a month before the place was overrun by rampaging stegos the great readers dealt with five of them without too much trouble the remaining one well young Ryland cast in large on it by mistake the beast rampaged through the baths demolished Ogma's temple and smashed through the East Wall. Stegos may not have much taste for meat, but they've got a hell of a temper. Luckily, this one had only clobbered a few farmhouses once I'd caught up. The ground shook as it charged me. I vaulted over the beast and grabbed it by the tail. It bucked and bellowed as I climbed its plates and straddled its head. I plunged a blade into the left eye, straight into the brain. It fell to the ground with a thud. Bet the ravens are still picking at its carcass to this day. Will's a good storyteller. Wish I'd been there to see it play out. I wish you'd been there to join in. Oh, to battle together, just like the old days. I suppose that's my way of saying I miss you. Tonight, I toast not just the people we've become, but the people we were. Warriors, winners, saviors. Your father must be proud of you, Will. Have you been visiting? I've seen him more than a few times. And he's as proud of me as I am of him. He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element. Commanding the Flaming Fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. 
Bane's Chosen primed the Fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Who's Karel in DOS 2? Is that another representation of Avi? Is it the same composer? Um, DOS 2 and BG3. I don't remember that. Mazora must keep you busy with her missions too. <laughs> She's kept her leash loose. No, I've been no stranger to the hells. Every target she set me on's been a demonic intruder. Tanari assassins who slip into Avernus. Armonites that amass near the sticks. My next mark's the most challenging yet. Or so she says. I don't know much more. Only that it's no demon, but a devil. She's playing a game. I don't know what it is or how she plans to win, but I can tell you this much. I'd fall on my own blade and join the blood war in an instant should Zariel's hell-touched fingers stretch towards the coast. And as long as I'm more useful as a warlock, that's not a risk Mazora would take. Yeah, so I think my will quest bugged out, Errol. Go on, the night's young. You shouldn't waste a moment of it. He said or they took Ravenguard, but then he wasn't taken, so... I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oops. Did I say half a bottle? I just didn't care that much because this run hasn't really been about the story so much. It's been more so just getting through the encounters. Oh, hey, Scratchy Boy. What's up? Um, who else did we not talk to? Hold on. Where in the Nine Hells are the Speak with Animal potions? The Malagahar who freed me to Lazel, Tlak Mak Gir. My words come to you on a slate, for they are immutable and eternal. You are not just liberators, you are all warriors of the comet. Whatever land you travel, whatever sea you cross, whatever plain you grace. Blacketh's pawns fall, one by one, at the hands of my faithful. But the city of death stands, and the queen sits on her vile throne at its center. We stand at its precipice. Lazel, thanks to you, we are soon to restore an old kinship, and Blacketh will burn in the fires thus stoked. Protocols are written anew, and to you, Lagir, I dedicate the first. All who call themselves Gith shall unite under one sky. Gith Ka, Tavkim, Krushk, Orpheus. That's so cool, getting a little note from Orpheus. Alright, don't really care about these, because we didn't really pay attention to what we're doing with the story anywhere. Okay, I got you right here. Last holdout cultist cleared from Temple of Baal. Ravenguard returned to full strength. Thorm's army dispersed from Baldurian borders. And six months since the assassination of Archduke Gortash. Take credit for that. Um. Okay. Talk to Gale. Word of God, I read in the recent hotfix that there was well, big with animal well. potions. Should be Look near Withers? Okay, all right, all right. In. All right, so I did romance. Professor yeah. Gale Decarius of Blackstaff Academy. Pretty Educator funny. of the esteemed School of Illusion. <laughs> A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Okay, Bug, I see what you're saying. I see Mistra didn't smite you in the end. She did not. I'm delighted to report. She sought me out. Not long after, we went our separate ways and assured me neither she nor the orb should pose me any threat in the future. Of course, it's still in there. A constant reminder of my former hubris and a surprisingly effective means of keeping my more disobedient students in line. Perhaps a tad too effective. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But... It'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. 
Don't worry, I can say from experience you're an excellent teacher, Gail. Ah, so you still remember our little lesson. Mm -hmm. It was quite something to share such a moment with you, though it vanished all too quickly. You were, of course, Should have taken indulging Viagra, Gail. me in submitting to such a lesson. Gotcha. Teaching you was hardly an effort at all. Not like my present cohort of apprentices. Oh, they try their best, of course. And they can manage to stay awake. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? Yeah, I didn't I didn't get meant. You guys didn't get that joke? Gal said it vanished too quickly. Said you should have taken that Viagra pill. Can I get a couple of LOLs in chat? That was a pretty damn good joke. My repertoire has some truly spellbinding new songs in it, inspired by our feats of unbridled heroism. From you, I'd expect nothing less. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. I suppose I could regale them with a stirring ballad or two about our epic journey together. Well, I for one can't wait. And I say with some confidence, neither can they. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. Surprised we haven't had any dark so, urge stuff really yet. In the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. I mean, I'm not the dark urge anymore, but I'm surprised we haven't really been talking about it too much. All right, um, we're going to go to Withers' room. But first, I guess, let me talk to the NPC that looks strangely similar to Bobby. Oh, Hello. Let me guess, you've got some suggestions about the music choice. Tough gig. You have no idea. You... You've no idea who I am. Withers couldn't even find a bard that knows who I am. <laughs> That's funny. I forget the name, but this is the god of music. Somebody in chat informed us last time. Wasn't familiar with the lore. Uh, we're going to find out here shortly, though. Or somebody in chat, tell us the name of the god. I remember looking it up on the wiki last time. But of course I recognize the greatest bard of all time. The famous, uh, you. Ooh, friends can't trip. You know. <laughs> You're bloody right. It is an honor. But deep down, I knew you'd recognize me. You're a fellow bard, after all. <laughs> what can I do you for? I'd like you to change the song. Your wish is my... etc. What song do you want? Mellow. How about something thoughtful, hopeful? Fantastic idea. This is such a good epilogue to a game. It really is. Just being able to go around and have like these in-depth conversations with each of the companions and also being able to re revisit the river camp, which means so much to so many of us. This is like the main camp of the game, I would say, even though you can't access it in other acts. Wait, can I play with him? Hold on, let me come back up here. What happens if I choose this one? <laughs> Get off my platform! Fascinating. Thou hast ventured long with thy comrades, shared food, fire. Did and I just screw up my ending? But even. I wasn't done exploring. 
Well, shit. I don't think I killed anybody. I just did a little thunder wave or a little shatter. Tired. Good day. <laughs> Some of you guys never have seen this ending, so I'm happy to show you. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what the actual epilogue is. Or the epilogue epilogue. You guys ready for it? I just want to hear the music come in real fast. Hopefully we get Raphael on this one. Well, this is weird. The ending with no music. So much for our redemption. <laughs> What the hell? We're going back in. Don't worry. I love how so many of you guys didn't know that that's what happens. I always kill my own party members, so I already knew from last. I could I had to test it out on my last run. I can't remember who I killed. I killed one of my companions. It's pretty funny, right? Okay, we're back. Back to where we were before. So let's go ahead and get the... Uh... Oh no. Oh, there we go. That'd be cool if they let us... Oh, where am I going? If they let us run around the city a little bit. It's destroyed for them. You made it! Now the revelry can truly begin. Where are the speak with animals? Hold on. Mind flare, disintegrate, circle of death, gold pendant. The book of willing souls. talk to scratch right now hold on let me look carefully again sometimes i'm bad at finding things don't see any speak with animals nope circle of death scroll volo's guide mind flare parasite nothing 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 in the big pot i'll take these scrolls though pretty deadly maybe withers has it on him You guys see it anywhere? Top of that bookshelf? No, that's not it. for a fact that I read in the hotfix that they... Oh, there it is! Yay! Didn't I loot that earlier? I don't think they had to make it that hard to find, right? Why not just put it like... <laughs> Why not just put it somewhere that's obvious? Because players are going to miss out, like, talking with Scratch and whatever animals are around here. Simply because they didn't find it. They should definitely just set that in the open somewhere. Hey, where's, where's our buddy Scratch? Where you at, buddy? Oh, here he is. Bottle rack? Yeah, I got it. Kind of an odd place to set it, you know? A familiar sight. Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. What do you got this time, Scratch? I found this. It smelled like you. So I kept it. Seemed like something you might like to throw? No owlbear this time. I'd be happy to, but first, how have you been? Oh, I've been so good. I've got a nice home in the city now. 
A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also, you and Albert. I've got so many best friends. <laughs> you and I Albert. I know who to play with. I'm so glad to hear you fared well since our travels together. I certainly have, and I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. This is dangerous object. I'm not sure we should be playing with it. You know best, but a little fetch never hurt anyone. As far as I... Okay, there's not really a ton of dialogue anyways. Apparently Scratch can't climb. Apparently I can't either. Well, there goes the Astro Prism. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Do I have telekinesis somewhere? Mage hand? Yeah, let's give that a try. Doesn't even go up there. Nope, you can't go up there. <laughs> Don't throw the astral prism on top of the boulders, folks. Who knows who's gonna get that? Yeah! Alright, is there any more animals around here? I didn't get the owl bear. Let me just check over here. I don't think there is. So hopefully we can get the correct epilogue this time. You guys see any squirrels or anything? Bazel. Oh, we can talk to... I mean, I guess... Sure, we'll talk to Tara. Why not? Hmm. Oh, right. You. Hello. You must be Tara. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakario save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute, isn't that right? That is correct. Actually, Gail that helped doesn't me. doesn't sound like him. But whichever way you want to remember it, well done, I suppose. You ought to come visit myself and Gail when you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. I'd quite like that. Thanks for the invitation. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent That's months. That's funny. Ta-ta. Oh, yeah, I have to talk to... Oh, yeah, I do have to talk to Carlac. True. True, forgot about that. I mean, me and Carla could bend together, you know? Be interesting to see if she, she has anything interesting to say. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. Ta ta, Where ta ta. You mad bastard, you brought us back! <laughs> Commander Zula won't know where the fuck we went! Ha! Oh, man, I can't wait to say hi to everyone. Look at them, the beauts. Rest up, soldier. My tin can will be all right for the night. And you and me will get to sleep with both eyes shut for the first time in six months. Hear, hear. Enjoy it, soldier. You've earned it. Not sure your engine will be all right. She's got a night in her, I think. Any trouble and I'll toddle back off to hell quick as you please. How about a hug? You don't need to ask, soldier. Everybody asked for hugs, and Larian provided. Uh, Karlak? Stop kissing my neck. Okay, a little awkward, but I'll roll with it. Oh, hey, before you go, I've been thinking about those blueprints we found. Zariel's probably got a load of Cambians guarding that forge. I'm sure she knows I want in. She'll do anything to stop me from fixing this thing. I might have an in with one of the guards, though. An old acquaintance called Flo. Not sure she'll help us, but maybe. 
We might get to come home permanently. Ooh, Maybe DLC. Even sooner than we think. This has gotta be the DLC. No, this isn't the Underdark. I'm, this is the end of the game. This is the epilogue of the game. What's your Underdark secret? Share it with us. Because we're not going back to the Underdark anytime soon. This one night is like any other. And yet, different. Thou art the savior of Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? Like, why would Larian leave, like, the Karlak quest on such a cliffhanger? You know what I mean? Like, the first part of it was fine, but that comment that she just said a minute ago... To where she has a friend and she thinks she can get us out of the hells permanently. That doesn't seem like something... That doesn't seem like... I don't know. I mean, maybe it is ending information that just lets us know there's the possibility of a good ending for my character in Karlak. But that kind of feels like a hint, though, towards something. It feels like information that didn't necessarily need to be put at the end of the game. If it didn't have... You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe. I'm proud. You gave me a new life, another chance. I did my best with it. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Well, there's got a funny nose, doesn't he? Thou play Missed thy the ball part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Hey, Louis, did you start your playthrough? rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To Baldur's Gate. To the hope of more adventures to come. It sounds like something I'd say. To you. Skull. Do we finally get the music for the credits now? Now how do I get to the ending scene without it ending like it did last time? I know there's a way you can skip this. Last time I pressed escape though. And it exited out. Feels like Withers is dropping hints at a DLC. Future adventures, right? Down arrow? Sure, let me try it. Oh god. Oh, so now the credits will only be only be 22 minutes versus 45. Oh, we can scroll! Let's try that. Down arrow is slow, but the mouse wheel goes super fast. I had no idea you could scroll through this. You guys want me to find my name in here and Zyphiel's name somewhere? Over 2.5 million early access players. It's crazy. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. 
But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flares. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane. What did I do wrong for Raphael? Of Baal. The death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin? Away. A few people told me there's an ending scene Thou with Raphael in it. Us no more. With him, like, taking over the hells. More than one person has told me that so far. Oh, let's go. I owe you thanks. The crown yeah. really is marvelous. I'm almost tempted to dig Carsus' soul out of whatever pit he's in, so I can show him what his creation is capable of. Now it's in the right hands. My legions are beginning their assault on Zariel's flying fortress just about now. It will fall before the sun rises over Toril, and Avernus will be mine. Conquering the other hells will be simplicity itself. Some of the archdevils are already making overtures of peace and promises of tribute. My dear father Mephistopheles is among them. Even he sees how the tide has turned. And with all nine hells under my command, I will end the blood war. Inferno victoria and look for new worlds to conquer Oral? <laughs> it won't be long before i come knocking at your door tata nice. for now nice and they play the boss music You love the voice acting of Raphael. The funny thing is, he actually is the singer for that song, too. The male voice that you hear. And he's not trained as a singer. He's a voice actor, but he's never been a singer before. I watched an interview on, I think, Dan Allen Gaming is the name of the channel. With the Raphael voice actor. And uh, that was kind of like, just... They just asked him if he wanted to try it. And then he went up and met with Bobby. And Bobby, the composer, worked with him. And they worked really well together. And he did the song. I mean, obviously, if you're a voice actor, you're probably going to be a better singer than the average person. Obviously, he's pretty good, and he knew how to do that part. This part's not even, like, full singing. It's kind of like that acting singing. So it fits perfectly. All right, guys. Well, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to get the golden die. I can't believe that it ended like that. It's just That is just so crazy. 16 health on the nether brain, and I walk into a freaking haste grenade, and it's over. But it's okay. I made some mistakes in that fight. I deserve it. I could have TPK'd back in the answer fight too, and then we wouldn't even have been here. So, no regrets this run. It's been a fantastic honor mode run. Love this game mode. We'll definitely play it again in the future. I'm in no hurry to rush through it again to try to get the golden die. I don't really care that much. It was more so the experience. So, But uh, next patch that Larian drops uh, in the future, I'll definitely play honor mode. Might be doing a multiplayer run at some point in the future. I have a couple of friends that are interested in playing that haven't played yet. But uh, other than that, gonna i don't know if i'm taking a break from bg3 taking a break from doing full playthroughs though might try out some mods um but probably gonna jump into some other games so i will continue streaming on the channel like normal tuesday thursdays at 7 p.m eastern and sunday afternoons eastern time and then also hopefully more days in the week than that but i don't always make those days so i don't consider them as scheduled days and yeah other than that bg3 videos will continue we're gonna start ramping up for dd2 in march i would like to cover that game hopefully i get my hands on it a little bit early that's all I got. I'm going to catch up on the chat now as we go to the ending screen. Thank you guys for the Twitch viewers, by the way. I'm going to reapply for Twitch partnership. 
as I got denied the first time, but my average viewership over on Twitch has been really good. Really good, so hopefully they accept it this time, a month later. So I can up the quality of the streams a little bit. Twitch is the one holding us back right now, because I could have much higher quality streams. Alright, let me catch up on the chats now. Now that we're on this screen. Begum Ozarda, thank you for the TRY55. TRY, I don't think I've ever gotten that currency before. Oh, Turkish, I definitely have. That makes sense. I should have came to my head right away. Hey, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Good night. Oh, it's so funny. I, I didn't even read your comment. I'm sorry. I literally read the name, then I saw the TRY, and I instantly went to Google to uh, try to figure it out. But your comment says good night from Turkey. So thanks a lot. Uh, Panic, thank you for the dono and also the gifted members. Appreciate you. Uh, having a 100k YouTube channel should make you eligible. No, 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 I'm, uh, I'm talking about... Oh, you mean over on... I'm talking about Twitch, though. YouTube doesn't... Or Twitch doesn't care about YouTube. I am eligible for Twitch partner. I just... They just didn't accept me last time because um, they said I haven't been doing it long enough on Twitch, so... I think Twitch is better than YouTube. On... Uh, no. I don't really care, to be honest with you, but... Uh, definitely Google is a much more profitable and better company overall. But I don't care because I multi-stream, so if something happens to Twitch, it's not the end of the world for me, so... Twitch seems to have a better uh, chat experience in terms of like all the things you can do over there. But uh, YouTube as a platform is so much more than just live streams, so... I don't really care, I don't really care either way. As long as people can just watch the stream, it doesn't matter to me. Should let you waive the viewership requirements if you have a big enough YouTube channel? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they could do something. Maybe, I don't know. Not all YouTubers are streamers, though. Maybe if they looked at the stream side of my YouTube channel. Which is broke, could be ending soonish. Yeah, they just laid off 33% of their workforce, but honestly, that might be the thing that keeps Twitch alive, so I don't know if I would... Uh, I don't know if I'd say they're going away anytime soon. Maybe at some point in the future. Which is why I put all my hope in YouTube at the start. I've never believed in Twitch, to be honest with you, but now that they changed CEOs, I like the new CEO. Uh, seems like a really open guy with everything going on, and they reduced the size of their company because it was way too big. They weren't able to... Uh, sustain numbers like that even though it's sad that people lose their jobs it just wasn't able to be obtained or retained like that twitch already is not a profitable company so they're working towards becoming a profitable company obviously uh downsizing probably was the right move but we'll see i don't think it's going away anytime soon but if i was a twitch streamer i could tell you what i'd definitely be multi-streaming every time i streamed i'd be trying to build up a plat build up an audience on different platforms Not so much when you convert it to USD. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. I appreciate the, the support. You also got to keep in mind, too, like... Somebody donates a dollar from one country. It could be equal to somebody donating, like, $50 in the USA. So I don't, I don't care how the amount, man. I appreciate you thinking of me. Not sure what game I'm going to jump into next, bug. See you, Justin. When continuing an honor mode run, does that still give the tactician achievement? That I'm not sure of, Elf. Modded honor mode. What about DOS 2? You know, I'd like to play DOS 2 again. I already started a little bit offline, but, you know, committing to a full playthrough is a very, very long time. And I don't stream, like, full-time. If I was a full-time... Like, you guys probably follow a lot of full-time streamers. They play for, like, 50, 60 hours a week. I stream for, like, three, sometimes more than three, and they're usually, like, four-hour sessions. So if I commit to, like, a CRPG that's, like, 90 to 100 hours long, that's, like, three months of streaming for myself. I'd like to stream a little bit more, but it's just hard, because when you're... When you create videos, they take up a lot of time. It's hard to mix both. Which is why you don't oftentimes see like full-time video creators that are also full-time streamers. It's very rare. Um, and people that stream on a full-time schedule, if they do YouTube videos, it's usually clips from their streams instead of like dedicated videos where, you know, there's like 10 hours of editing behind the videos and things of that nature. 
Alan Wake 2? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe at some point. DD2 is Divinity Original Sin 2, Louis. It's Larian Studios' previous game. Baldur's Gate 3 is like Divinity Original Sin 2 on steroids. Maybe there will come a time when you no longer need to make YouTube videos and do streaming full-time. No thank you. <laughs> I could already try to pursue streaming full-time. The reason why I don't is because I don't want to stream full-time. Nope. I don't think you could pay me enough to, to stream for 40, 50 hours a week. I know it sounds absurd to say that, but I'm just being honest with you guys. I can't imagine being on camera for 8 to 10 hours a day and having to constantly be entertaining. No thank you. Not to mention it's already hard to f hard enough to focus on games when you're streaming, at least with the way my brain is. I like, I like part-time streaming. That's a blessing to me, and I very much appreciate you guys coming to watch, because I do love what I do. Nope, I don't think you could pay me enough to be a full-time streamer. I'd rather go back to my old job. Let me work in peace, make my money, and move on. See how much BG3 made on Steam alone. I saw those statistics and it said like 600 something million. I don't have to verify that those are real because you never know the sources where the stats are coming from, but I might make a video on that at some point in the future. I don't know, who knows though, but things change. We'll see how things go over time. Sometimes I do feel like streaming more than videos because streaming's pretty like, all you gotta do is hit the live button and then you're technically like working. When you do a video, you have to edit and script right. It feels a lot more like a job, but streaming just gets exhausting over time. And if you wanna be a full-time streamer, you have to be constantly entertaining. That's just not for me. Basement dweller. Two point five million early access players. Yeah, you gotta also consider too, like there's fees behind all this too, like how much money did they have to pay Wizards of the Coast? How much does Steam take? things of that nature. If Co can, you can too. Nope, we're very different people, me and Co. Everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. That's why you have some people that enjoy working outside. Other people never want to pick up a shovel their entire lives. Some people want to work in the medical field. Some people, I have never wanted to work in the medical field. It's never even crossed my mind even one time. Like I have zero interest in that. While other people dedicate their lives to becoming doctors and they love it. So just because one person does it doesn't mean that another person can. But hey, look, I'm in a position where I don't have to do it full time, so I don't. I love uh, I love my job right now. I love making videos, and then I love you know having some time for streaming. A nice mix of both is that's where I feel comfortable right now. Man, the voice actors are probably really expensive. Everything I hear, from everything I hear, uh, good voice acting for a video game is one of the most expensive parts of creating a video game, which is why a lot of indie companies don't use voice acting. What do you do if you don't want to share? That's cool. Oh no, I'm a full-time creator. Uh, I've been full-time on YouTube for over three years now. I just, I'm just saying I don't stream full-time. Uh, before that, I did a few things, but I was installing underground sprinkler systems for a while. It was a job that held me over while I was working on the YouTube channel. Um, and it also allowed me to pursue a, a musician career, which I did before this for a few years. 
And then before that, I don't know, I worked a million jobs. I've been a janitor before. I have a four-year degree in business administration. I was in the military for six years. Um, I've worked retail. I've worked uh, administrative jobs at golf courses, assistant golf pro, all sorts of different things. I've been working since I was 15 years old, probably like many of you guys. Didn't become a full-time creator until 31 years old. Maybe I was 30, I don't know. I want to have time, I like to, uh, tranquilly. Definitely like uh, playing games offline. Uh, sometimes it's a different experience than when you stream, and I do enjoy that. This comes down to a matter of time and how how much I want to sit in front of my computer in a given day. Like, it's really unhealthy to be at your computer for 16 hours a day. I used to do that back when I was, like, grinding really hard to get the YouTube channel going, but now I try to get up and go to the gym. Consistent with going to the gym now. Uh, you know, I care greatly about my family, always visiting them weekly, and they live pretty far away. Got to stay up and move in, visit my friends and things like that. So I have time. But video editing, I don't have a video editor that works for me. It's just me. So maybe in the future, I'd consider hiring one. But it's a hard leap to make because I spend so much time editing my videos. And I care greatly about the quality and the product that comes out for many of them. But I can't imagine in my head right now giving that off to somebody else because there's no way that they would care like I do about it. Not to mention videos... Videos, videos can make good money if you have viral ones, but if you're getting like 20, 30 K views on a video, which happens a lot, like you can't afford an editor. <laughs> Lucky for me, there's a lot of different sources of revenue. We have channel memberships, we have the streams, then I have videos that have gone viral that have gotten millions of views that make up for the videos that don't make a lot of money. But uh, hiring an editor is, uh, is, a, is a scary thing in my opinion. Unless I was like consistently getting like 100k on every single video I put out, I'm not really considering that right now. And how can I expect to hire an editor that would like, for every part of the song, use a different... I don't like... When I do my lore videos, every like, every minute or two is, is, a, is, a, is its own song, background music, just to set the ambience for the particular subject that I'm talking about. I don't know who would do that. I don't know if there's any editors out there that do that. And if I expect them to edit like that, they're going to cost a shit ton of money because it's going to take a very long time for them to edit a video. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in Alan Wake too. Like, the, the style of the game isn't really my favorite. Like, action-adventure, modern-day shooter style. But since it won Game of the Year, I think it would be good for me to play it sometime, just to see where everybody's coming from. Yeah, she is a big YouTuber and he edits about 90% of his videos. Yeah, every YouTuber is different. Some YouTubers have big teams and they figure out how to make it work. They mass produce content. Uh, other YouTubers do most things on their own. And then there's a mix between both as well. Every YouTuber is very different from another YouTuber too. So like what one does is very different from what somebody else does. Some people spend like three weeks editing one video and they only release one or two videos a month, while other YouTubers release daily videos with very minimal editing. Um, some YouTubers are very articulate and they just run channels that are focused on their opinion and all they have to do is turn on the camera and they just speak their mind on a subject, they turn it off and then they upload it. Other YouTubers spend 10 hours researching something and then script writing for another 10 and then editing for another 10 just for a single video. Everybody, everybody does different types of channels. Everybody's in a different industry too. So it's really hard to compare like one one YouTuber to another. It's like comparing, I don't know, it's it's just it's like comparing two different professions almost. No, I don't make any music anymore, Justin. No more time for that. Wondering if you're just making up jobs. No, I've been working since I was 15 years old, so that's almost 20 years in the workforce. So how would, that's probably pretty normal to have worked like 10, 20 jobs in that time, right? Worked at a golf course, 
worked at like five different golf courses probably. Was in the military, but it was National Guard, so it wasn't a full-time commitment except for boot camp and then advanced training. I was in school. I worked at Under Armour when I was in school. Um, I worked at a golf course while I was in school. I worked as a janitor because I took a year off from going to college because I wanted in-state tuition. And uh, I worked actually part-time as a janitor and then part-time at Under Armour, which equaled the full-time and I was able to establish residency in South Carolina at the time. Uh, after that, sprinkler systems, landscaping, um, assistant to golf professionals at golf courses, which is like administrative duties in the office, like running tournaments and things like that. I don't know, I think it's pretty normal for people, especially early on in your careers, like you jump around to a million different jobs. I think it's pretty normal for people to have worked 10, 20 jobs by the time they're in their mid-30s. Thanks, Begum and Angie. Appreciate that. Any plans for Rogue Trader? Nah, I gave the game a try. It was just too slow for me, too slow paced. I'm not really into... Um, I don't really know much about Warhammer 40k in general, but I'm also really not that into sci-fi as much as I am with fantasy. So I gave the game a try, it just felt way too slow, I was pretty bored and I stopped playing, but I decided not to talk crap about it because it seems like a good game for people that it's intended for. Just not for me, so I move on. I was in the workforce for about 20 years and swapped jobs every 2-3 to three years, so easily had 10-15 to 15 different ones. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Currently studying again at 38. Nice, Richard. Good for you. Pursue those dreams, man. Warhammer. <laughs> I think the Warhammer 40k lore is pretty good, but coming into that game, not really knowing it, and then the entire game just being like a bunch of text, it was hard for me to really focus on it. And then the turn-based combat. I love turn-based combat, obviously, but everything about it was slow. And I also didn't really understand like the Warhammer lore at the same time, so... Luckily, I had a good year, so I didn't really care. Just move on. I think Owlcat's a great company, and I hope they make... Uh, I really hope that their next game, though, is either another Pathfinder game or they return to the fantasy genre. Because I can handle a slow game much more if I'm really into the lore, then I'm okay with it. Keith Lee of Gaming. Commercial repo business. Pay your bills or I'm coming. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool, Louie. Seems like you enjoy it. All that matters. Okay, I'm leaving. You guys have a wonderful Sunday evening. I'll see you guys on Tuesday night for something new. Goodbye.